What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 4FM, Chapter 91 Morgan's Refuge Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription 6 tenths Close Black Lens Bracket. Morgan's, how are you thinking? On Luo Ning's side, he is in contact with Morgan's. As for the purpose of the contact, it is natural to use Morgan's newspaper office. I've made up my mind, from now on I'll follow Master Luo Ning. Morgan's has also been thinking about it for a while. Luo Ning had asked him before and planned to accept him as a younger brother. Morgan's was a little hesitant at first, but Luo Ning promised that other than helping him to distribute some news, other parties would not interfere with Morgan's, which made Morgan's very excited. You know, publishing news is risky, he is still relatively good, people from other newspapers about the dark side of world government and marine are not afraid to expose at all. He still dared to say what he said, but he didn't dare to go too far, otherwise the world government would not let him go, but now there is a strongman who can completely ignore the world government. This is the most suitable backer, so Morgans was a little moved when Luo Ning spoke before. It's just that he spent some time thinking about it, and finally made a decision. After all, in this sea, there are very few people who dare to fight against the world government, and the only one who can fight against the world government is Luo Ning. As for One Piece, Four Emperors, and the Revolutionary Army, once they fight with the world government, Marine can kill them now. Of course, one or two on the Four Emperors' side is not a problem, but if the four join forces together, it will be too much for the Marine side. The promise given by Luo Ning made Morgan's really value it too much. As Luo Ning's younger brother, he would not interfere too much with him, and he could publish any news he wanted, without looking at the face of the world government at all. Moreover, the world government did not dare to touch him, otherwise the pressure brought by Luo Ning would be difficult for the world government to bear. So in the end Morgan's agreed to Luo Ning's solicitation and became Luo Ning's younger brother. A wise choice, then Morgan's, use your people to set up a live broadcast network for me with a large enough spread. As for the expenses, just ask me how much it costs. Luo Ning said, the live broadcast in this world is not like the modern society. The modern society has the internet. This world can only rely on the video phone bug, but the spread of this phone bug is not large, and it can only be found on some surrounding islands. In this case, Luo Ning asked Morgans to set up more. Although the live broadcast can only be spread to a few surrounding islands, the video phone bug can be used to spread the picture again. With this continuous radiation, not to mention spreading to the whole world, most of the grand line can be done. Morgans, Newspaper offices are all over the world, and it is too simple for his newspaper office to help. As for the funds, Luo Ning has as much money as he wants. Master Luo Ning, are you planning to attack the Celestial Dragons? That's really great, I believe such news will definitely make the whole sea boil. Morgans is extremely excited at the moment, you must know that they are Celestial Dragons, and they only captured, city, before. Now what does Luo Ning want to do? Luo Ning plans to live broadcast the execution of Dragon Opener. Let the Celestial Dragons walk through several floors of the deep sea prison. As for whether the bodies of the celestial dragons can resist, Luo Ning will inject the power of fantasy into their bodies, so that they have the ability to heal themselves. In this way, they will not die no matter what they want. The punishment in this big prison will make them they go several times. That's right, that's why you need to contribute. Luo Ning admitted this matter, and Morgans quickly agreed. Advertisement. After that, I contacted my newspaper reporters from all over the country, divided the funds, and started to set up a live broadcast network. These celestial dragons are so ugly, and one of them is like a giant baby. It's disgusting. This kind of guy is actually a world noble and claims to be a god. After Luo Ning finished talking with Morgans, Nami came over, and she went to see those celestial dragons, and Robin did the same, after all, celestial dragons were very novel to them. In the past, celestial dragons were a symbol of power, but now they are directly imprisoned by Luo Ning. Unfortunately, no one has saved them yet, and now there is no movement from the world government, probably they have given up on these guys. But after seeing these celestial dragons, Nami's face was extremely ugly. These guys are so disgusting, it's okay to be ugly, and their speech is quite ugly, and all of them are like giant babies, making people extremely uncomfortable. Those guys are nothing but garbage that wastes air. They grew up in a deformed environment like Mariajoy. It's no wonder that they are not distorted. Of course, there are a few exceptions. Asking for flowers, Luo Ning told everyone about Brother Ming's father. After listening, Nami and Robin were speechless again. What kind of operation is this? Brother Ming's father is indeed kind, but he has no brains. What he did was indeed courageous, but in Luo Ning's view, it was completely irresponsible. His wishful thinking did not consider his children and wife at all. They dragged their family out of the Holy Land, and what happened? Their belongings were completely taken away, and their wife died. If it wasn't for Brother Ming, the three of them would have been directly burned to death. Zero. Brother Ming's distorted personality has something to do with his father. Celestial dragons, these two polarizations are too serious. Even Robin has nothing to say, the evil one can do all kinds of disgusting things, the kind one can be so kind as to be brainless, the gap between the two is too big. It's just a few, now Mariajoy does still have that kind of celestial dragons that can be seen, but it's just a few, most of the celestial dragons are still hopeless rubbish. 
Luo Ning didn't care about those celestial dragons, he just hated celestial dragons to the extreme, and then he was waiting to execute these celestial dragons, which was a scene he had always wanted to see. By the way, you have also used the training ground, how do you feel? Luo Ning looked at the two of them, and after they came back, Luo Ning gave them access to the training ground. Very good, but those guys in it are too powerful, they are not people at all. Nami said helplessly, ha 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 ha, it's normal, you'll get used to it after a while, and I was beaten up when I first entered. Luo Ning did not forget the scene where he was beaten up by the enhanced version of Garp. However, he gradually got used to it these days. Of course, he couldn't just use Garp as an opponent. He tried many different enemies, and the fighting methods and styles of these people were completely different. The current Luo Ning is like a huge sea, absorbing these battle experiences. Chapter 92 Public Execution of Celestial Dragons Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription 7 Tenths Close Black Lens Bracket As time went by, Luo Ning was getting stronger and stronger. Although it was not easy to defeat those imaginary existences in the training ground, his strength was still steadily improving. On the Morgan's side, mobilizing all forces and supporting huge financial resources, the live broadcast network has also been set up. Moreover, Morgan's has already released the news that he has taken refuge with Luo Ning in the newspapers, and now his status is constantly rising among those underground forces. Many people from the dark forces need to be humbled when they see him, which made Morgan's quite happy for a time. This is not how these guys usually meet with him, and there are still many people who hope to connect with Luo Ning through Morgan's, but they are directly rejected by Morgan's. Just kidding, based on Morgan's knowledge of Luo Ning, it's impossible for these people to get involved. 257, are you sure there is no problem? Then let's start right away, everyone is paying attention, turn on the live broadcast. There is a huge screen in front of Morgan's. The people on the screen are his subordinates, and the small split screens represent people on different islands. This was also set up during the process of setting up the live broadcast network this time, and it can be directly connected to him. Following Morgan's order, all the live broadcasts were turned on, and the picture of the deep sea prison appeared on most of the more prosperous islands in the Grand Line. Finally started, we've all been waiting for this, what the hell did Morgan's get into with such a backer? Many colleagues are waiting, they are envious of Morgan's now, after all, Morgan's is completely different from them now. They still need to be supervised by various forces when distributing news, but what about Morgan's? Now that they have Luo Ning as their backer, Morgans can come here without any scruples, and they don't need to worry about anything. When starting to set up these live broadcast networks again, Morgans released the news that Luo Ning plans to publicly execute the Celestial Dragons, so everyone in the whole sea is looking forward to this scene. There are so many boats, how come there are so many boats suddenly? On an island, people were waiting for the live broadcast, but suddenly Daxing's ship appeared on the sea. That flag, is the Whitebeard Pirates, why did the four emperors of the New World appear here? Everyone panicked when they saw the flag, it was Whitebeard's fleet. Father, do you want to disperse these people? Marco looked at those terrified people and asked. No, we're just watching the live broadcast, there's no need to do anything excessive. Whitebeard didn't care, this time he left New World to come here purely to watch the live broadcast. In fact, not only Whitebeard, but the other four emperors have all left New World. There is no way, this live broadcast network has not been set up in New World. Regarding the matter of celestial dragons, four emperors were also blown out directly. The four emperors left New World collectively, which made Marine even more vigilant. Next to the four emperors' fleet, there are Marine warships that have been watching. Advertisement. Although he knew what the purpose of these people was, Akainu didn't dare to be careless. He didn't want to make such an arrogant mistake after he took over as the marshal. Who knows what the four emperors will do, they are pirates. It's just that no one cares about these warships. Whitebeard, Kaido, Big Mom, and Shanks each found an island with a live broadcast. But their approach is completely different. Whitebeard and Shanks did not take the initiative to harass the people on the island. Of course, their arrival also made these people hide away and dare not approach. But Kaido and Big Mom are completely different. These two are notoriously domineering. They drive people away immediately, and kill those who don't. These two are real pirates. The four emperors each occupied an island and watched the live broadcast. In fact, not all pirates in the New World dared to run here. After all, Marine is still there. Although Marine can't provoke the four emperors casually, the others are different. Those who followed along to join in the fun were soon captured by Akainu's men. It can only be said that these guys are really trying to kill them. The four emperors are sure that Marine will not dare to fight with them. After all, the sea is currently maintained in a relatively stable situation. Whoever breaks this balance with his hands, the sea will go berserk immediately. In addition, although the four emperors' forces have done one or two Marines, you can't guarantee that you can stop the opponent from running away. Therefore, Marine cannot do anything casually. Once the other party runs away and holds grudges, the consequences for them will not be very good. The live broadcast started, and the screen of the live broadcast at this moment is impelled down, and the person who is explaining is Domino, and the image of Domino is indeed very suitable for such an explainer. Everyone on the sea, hello everyone, this is the deep sea prison impelled down, I believe everyone already knows what the purpose of today's live broadcast is, yes, it is the execution of celestial dragons. 
Celestial dragons have always claimed to be the world's nobles and descendants of gods, but what they did, buying and selling slaves, massacring, and plundering, they are guilty, so today celestial dragons will be punished. This time, I will also take this opportunity to introduce the specific punishment of Impel Down. Next, please come and take a look with me. Domino feels very strange to be honest, but this kind of rehearsal is taught by Luo Ning, and she has to do it. Although it feels a little strange, people who watch it will not think too much. Soon, under the leadership of Domino, everyone entered the interior of Impel Down, and then came to the place of baptism on the first floor. Any inmate sent to Impel Down will be required to undergo a baptism. Domino started to introduce the baptism. Most people in the Great 3.1C know that Impel Down is the largest prison in the sea and the prison with the strictest guards, but they don't know much about the punishment. Taking this opportunity, Luo Ning also intends to frighten those restless guys and let them see the horror of this Impel Down. After learning about the horror of the baptism, all the people who didn't know the details couldn't help but gasped. Entering the door is a terrible punishment. Ordinary people basically can't survive it. Throwing people into 100 degree water to sterilize is equivalent to boiling them. How can normal people survive? Of course, it's the celestial dragons that are going through all of this now, so they don't really care much. As for the previous prisoners, Luo Ning read them all through mind reading, and released those who were wronged and innocent. Chapter 93 Miserable Celestial Dragons Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription 8 Tenths Close Black Lens Bracket Those people who were willing to go back, Luo Ning had people send them back, and those who didn't want to go back, stayed in Impel Down to become jailers. Some of these people also hated the jailer, and Luo Ning sent them away if they wanted to stay. In fact, it was useless for them to hate the jailer. They were sent in because of Marine, Eni's lobby. The people in Impel Down are only responsible for receiving prisoners, they can't judge whether this person is good or bad, they just perform their duties, so Luo Ning didn't dislike these jailers at the beginning. To put it bluntly, the culprits are not these people, he is not Arlong, who is full of revenge on the society. But Luo Ning also plans to go to Doris Rosa to recruit Violet later, her staring fruit can be used to deal with this situation, don't worry about any big problems. Luo Ning doesn't have to do it himself, although he can use fantasy to inject others into their bodies so that others can get the ability to read minds. But 21 needs to maintain his fantasy all the time, so there is no need to do this, just find Violet. The celestial dragons were brought to the baptism place one by one at this moment. They were all shocked when they saw the boiling water in front of them. If they entered, they would not die instantly, but they would definitely be extremely miserable afterwards. This was the case with Luo Ning at the beginning. He survived the baptism, but the moment of the baptism was not the most tormenting moment, but the aftermath. After being scalded by boiling water all over, the feeling is simply terrific. You, what are you going to do? We are celestial dragons, we are world nobles, you can't do this, marine admiral will not let you go. A group of celestial dragons roared loudly in panic at this moment. Gag them, I've heard that a hundred times in a while. Domino directly asked people to gag the mouths of these guys, and then it became quieter, and the people watching the live broadcast were a little surprised at the moment, this young lady with a good figure, beautiful appearance and gentle appearance doesn't seem to be a simple thing what? In fact, in large prisons, no one is a simple thing, including ordinary jailers, their hearts have long been as rigid as steel, mainly watching these prisoners being tortured. Gradually they became numb to that kind of tragedy, so the hearts of those who impel down are quite strong. A group of celestial dragons were directly thrown into the boiling water after their mouths were gagged. Even with their mouths gagged, they could still hear that dull and incomparably screaming sound. It's miserable, but it's the way to go, these damn celestial dragons, my daughter. Sabayati Archipelago, an island where celestial dragons often haunt, many people have been harmed by celestial dragons, and some family members were robbed as slaves. In short, their resentment towards celestial dragons is quite deep. It is also because people in this world cannot turn into ghosts after they die. Otherwise, there are countless ghosts in the sea, and Mariajoy will probably turn into ghosts. After the baptism, these celestial dragons have been lying on the ground collectively. As for their bodies, it can be said to be horrible. After Luo Ning came to this world, he also strengthened his training, but it was quite miserable at that time. These celestial dragons wrap their bodies in that kind of weird costumes all day long. Advertisement. Their bodies are extremely fragile, so being scalded by this boiling water can be described as miserable. Several celestial dragons were dying, but the few celestial dragons who couldn't hold on recovered quickly, but they didn't fully recover, but let them out of the dying state, and they are still seriously injured state. What's going on here? Those guys just now were about to die, but they started screaming again. On an island, Marco looked at this scene with some puzzlement. This situation was familiar to him. After all, his phoenix ability can also quickly recover from injuries. Just now he did see that these celestial dragons were about to die, and as a result, they started screaming again like a flash of light. This should not be the case. At the same time, Domino's voice came from the live broadcast again. In order to prevent these celestial dragons from dying halfway, Mr. Luo Ning put something in their bodies, which can make them quickly recover to a serious injury state when they are about to die, but it is only a serious injury state. Domino said with a smile, as for the tragic situation of these celestial dragons, she didn't have any influence, but many people watching the live broadcast couldn't help but feel a little uncomfortable, after all, they haven't stayed in prison for a long time. 
It's really horrible. The prisoners who are imprisoned in the prison have to endure such torture, so how terrible are the punishments that will follow? I am a little afraid to watch. Many people made such voices, but this person is full of curiosity, so even if they say something, they just stare at the screen obediently. After all, this is Celestial Dragons. The Celestial Dragons were tortured, and even the four emperors were attracted, let alone ordinary people like them. For Whitebeard and others, this is also the first time they have seen such a scene in such a long age, and it would be a pity not to come and see it. After that, Domino asked people to bring these Celestial Dragons to the first floor of Crimson Hell. The Celestial Dragons were not imprisoned, but sent directly to the Sword Forest. Each floor will allow them to stay for 763 days. This time the live broadcast will last for several days. They will have a few days of rest when they reach the sixth floor, and then they will continue to cycle from the first floor. This time, even Domino felt sorry for these guys. You must know that from the appearance of Impel down to now, the only one who enjoys this kind of treatment is the murloc named Arlong, who goes back and forth from the first floor to the sixth floor. The reason why they are allowed to rest on the sixth floor is also to prevent their spirits from completely collapsing. Although this will not last for too long, it is better than directly collapsing. And when they reach the sixth floor, Luo Ning will eat and drink for them to recover. This method seems to be enjoyed by them, but is it really the case? That huge gap is no joke. It is estimated that these celestial dragons will have an absolute sense of fear on the sixth floor in a short time. After all, giving them good food and drink does not mean that they will be let go in the future, but that it means the opening of the next cycle of torture. Afterwards, people on the sea also saw the horror of the sword forest, and learned that some prisoners would be brought inside to be tortured every once in a while, and many little pirates were pale now. Before, they thought that as long as they couldn't die if they were caught, it wouldn't be a problem, but now it seems that this is more terrifying than death. Chapter 94 Already Insane Arlong Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription 9 tenths Close Black Lens Bracket It hurts so much, you bloody bastards, how dare you do this to us? After the celestial dragons were driven into the sword forest, they roared crazily. There were needle grass under their feet, sword trees around them, and a large number of poisonous insects crawling in it. There are a lot of jail guards around, they can keep still, but the poisonous insects and jailers will not let them go, but once they move, the consequence is that the soles of their feet will be pierced by needleweed, and their skin will be cut by sword trees. This drives the celestial dragons mad, but they can't do anything but rage. Ha 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 ha, save some effort, you rubbish, you can't escape, no one can escape at all. At this time, the celestial dragons heard an even crazier roar, and after looking over, they saw a murloc, and this murloc was Arlong. Before these celestial dragons, Arlong was tortured here, and he has tried his best for several rounds, and now his spirit is close to collapse, even a little numb. Afterwards, Domino also introduced to everyone, what exactly is Arlong's request for money, after learning what Arlong did, the people in the sea wished to rush directly to kill Arlong. After all, the race was placed here, which incidentally dealt a blow to Marine's reputation, which made Marine even more depressed, wishing to pull out those damn depraved Marines and shoot them hundreds of times. Arlong, brother Jinbei, it's Arlong. Jinbei also temporarily left the Fishman Island and came to the sea. They are also watching the live broadcast at the moment. When they first saw Arlong, Jinbei was taken aback. After all, Arlong was arrested and imprisoned that year, and he was released after taking over Shichibukai. But Arlong didn't follow him, instead he mocked him, and then left by himself. He never expected that Arlong would appear in the deep sea prison again. Jinbei thought that Marine broke the contract and attacked Arlong again, but when Domino introduced Arlong's situation, Jinbei fell silent. At this moment, he could even feel the sword-like eyes of the surrounding humans staring at them. In this live broadcast, Domino also revealed the damage to the various villages in East Blue. Anyway, it was miserable, and Arlong cheated on Nami. In short, the hatred value brought by Arlong these ten times is quite high what? Damn it, I should have let this guy out if I knew it back then. Jinbei doesn't know what to do now. Originally, the Fishman Island was the victim, but Arlong's operation in this wave has completely filled the hatred value of the Fishman Island. If it weren't for Jinbei being Shichibukai, it is estimated that these people would have done it. Dad, is it really the right thing for us to bless the Fishman Island? At this moment, the eyes of the Whitebeard pirates were all wide-eyed, and some captains couldn't help but ask, what kind of things did they bless? You can't deny a race just because of a piece of rubbish. There is no doubt that this Arlong is indeed rubbish, but you should also know the situation of the Fishman Island. Whitebeard is a little helpless, his sons are still a little impulsive, to put it bluntly, they are too young, some things can't be seen one-sidedly, but most of them are rough guys when they are pirates, so Whitebeard is also a little helpless. Advertisement. He will not stop protecting the Fishman Island just because of an Arlong, but this time it is estimated that the reputation of the Whitebeard pirates will be somewhat damaged. After all, Arlong's wave of hatred has caused many people to blindly hate the Fishman Island. This is completely different from person to person, that is, some people like Arlong to take revenge on society and hate society. He Whitebeard still protects these murlocs, so he will naturally be affected by a certain amount of reputation, but the influence is not too great, at least he doesn't care about reputation because of his beard. His wish has always been to stay with his children, as for the others, he doesn't care, even if it is called four emperors, one piece, etc., he still doesn't care. After introducing Arlong, everyone was a little horrified when they saw that Arlong let the poisonous insects crawl all over his body and didn't move. 
Is this guy so exaggerated? Ha 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 ha. You are the same as me, just like me, you can't die, and you can never die. Arlong saw a celestial dragon's accidentally fall, and fell in such a place, it's no different from death. But the opponent's fatal injury quickly recovered, and Arlong's scene broke out again. This crazy look made most of the people watching the live broadcast terrified. Afterwards they knew why, because they really couldn't die, Arlong began to self-mutilate, and even took out his own heart, but a heart quickly regenerated in his body, which was simply outrageous to the extreme. During this period of time, Arlong tried various means of suicide, but no matter what, he couldn't die, so that now he became in this crazy state. I swear, I won't be a pirate anymore, who in this sea wants to let someone be? Some pirates who saw this scene finally couldn't take it anymore, thinking that if they continue to be pirates, they will be imprisoned and impelled down one day, the consequences are unimaginable. No one wants to be treated like this. This is only the first level. What about the next level? It must be more serious than the next level. In short, many pirates and those who want to go to sea to become pirates are directly persuaded to leave. Be a pirate, what kind of pirate? Go back to farming and work honestly. This wave of live broadcast by Luo Ning can be said to persuade many pirates to quit, and this is just the beginning. As time goes by, more and more pirates will be unable to bear it and choose to quit. The live broadcast was still going on. Everyone who watched the live broadcast for days and nights was in shock to Lee's. Until the next point, even the people watching were a little numb. As for Jinbei and the others, they didn't dare to stay here any longer, and returned directly to the Fishman Island. On the one hand, he wanted to prevent other people from entering the Fishman Island to cause trouble. On the other hand, he really couldn't bear the eyes of these people. On the impel down side, the prisoners were also stunned when they knew that the celestial dragons were imprisoned. After reaching the sixth floor, Golden Lion, who had been waiting for news before, laughed wildly when he saw these celestial dragons being brought in. It's unbelievable, it actually did it, brought in all the celestial dragons, and it's still treated the same as that murloc boy, how long do you think these celestial dragons can resist? Although after entering the sixth floor, Arlong and these celestial dragons are delicious and delicious, but they also know what Arlong has experienced before, these celestial dragons are naturally the same. Chapter 95 Go to the Fishman Island Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription 10 out of 10 Close Black Lens Bracket Is this the news you've been waiting for? It turned out to be such a surprise, and it was indeed a surprise. Lousy has long since disliked these b asterisk 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 d celestial dragons. A group of prisoners started to roar, and they were naturally happy to see these celestial dragons coming in. Now these celestial dragons have fully recovered from their injuries, and there are still many big meals ahead. These things made the people on the sixth floor salivate, but they said they didn't want to eat them. Because the consequences of eating this food would not be very good, so did Arlong who came down at the beginning, but after a few times, Arlong's pupils and body trembled constantly when he saw these food. This is all because these things are the beginning of the next cruel cycle. Although eating or not eating will suffer the same torture, Arlong would rather choose not to eat. As the saying goes, it is easy to go from frugal to extravagant, but difficult to go from extravagant to frugal. Arlong is a typical example. During the previous torture, Arlong also had the same idea when he came to the sixth floor, but he enjoyed it here for a few days, and when he was completely relieved, he was pulled up again to start reincarnation from the first floor. This caused the nerves that Arlong had relieved to tighten again. After that, Arlong found that if he didn't eat these things, his nerves were always tense 660, and his condition was better. Which one hurts more, being in a state of despair all the time or falling into despair with hope? Naturally, it is the latter. Arlong had already tried it, and he didn't want to continue trying, so after seeing these things, Arlong even shrank into a corner without even looking at them, but these celestial dragons were quite happy to eat. These guys probably don't know what they will experience next. This guy named Luo Ning is indeed perverted. This kind of punishment is much more terrifying than any level. Looking at the celestial dragons who were eating happily, all the criminals shook their heads. The physical torture was fine, but the spiritual torture was the worst. It's not pervert, but I can't think of such a way, it's so pervert. Since Arlong's punishment came out, the sixth floor has become quite quiet, and everyone stopped making trouble. Even when Magellan appeared here, many people chose to keep silent for fear of being dragged out to experience a wave of this kind of punishment. To be honest, the crazy people here can hold on a few times, but they can't hold on like this forever. Just look at Arlong, CBAE, and you will know that every time Arlong comes down, his state is much worse than the last time. It's almost a lunatic now. And suicide is impossible. Arlong once tried to commit suicide on the sixth floor, but what was the result? Even the prisoners on the sixth floor felt miserable, but they just couldn't die. Because of this live broadcast, everyone raised Luo Ning's threat level by several Tibetan words. They are no longer pirates. All of a sudden, the marines felt much less stressed, and some marines from all over the world couldn't even find what to do. This is actually not particularly good news for marine, because the meaning of marine's existence is to fight against pirates. Only by maintaining a stable situation can marine and pirates survive. If there are no pirates, there will be no meaning for the existence of marines. When the time comes, marines will have nothing to do, and the world government will naturally not support so many marines. Strictly speaking, the world government needs pirates, because only if there are pirates, those kingdoms that are threatened, will honestly become a member country of the world government, and will honestly pay the heavenly money. Advertisement. 
So even if the world government can eliminate pirates, it still won't do so. This is also the reason why pirates have always existed. Otherwise, with the power of the world government, one or two four emperors can be quickly taken down, and the others will not be a threat. Once death is over, marine can quickly enter new world, and then occupy new world. Without new world as a paradise for pirates, pirates can only stay in other sea areas. In this way, all the high-level pirates were wiped out, leaving only some newcomers and middle-level fighters. Without the need for the world government to do anything, marine can gradually reduce the number of these pirates to less than 10% with a little effort, and then slowly destroy them completely. It can be done, but the world government doesn't. This time, the disappearance of a large number of pirates made it difficult for Marine to adapt for a while, but there are still other forces, so the world government will not allow Marine to disband for the time being. Zephyr has also brought a group of people to Impel Down and became a member of Impel Down. He is still serving as instructor now, of course, he can also go to sea to catch pirates if he wants to. This time Zubo has had a huge impact, but the world government has nothing to do. The live broadcast equipment has also been kept, and there are several live broadcasts from time to time. And Luo Ning has gone to sea again. As for the target, it is naturally De Reese Rosa that was agreed before. However, De Reese Rosa is on the New World side, so if he wants to go, he can only go through the Red King continent. For Luo Ning, this is pediatrics, but he intends to enter from the Fishman Island. He will also go to the Fishman Island, one is because of Shirahoshi, and the other is because there are historical texts there. Although the historical texts are useless, he promised Robin after all, so he will take her there. The current Shirahoshi should be around 11 years old. In fact, after Arlong's incident was broadcast this time, Luo Ning also knew that the Fishman Island would definitely be affected, but this matter had nothing to do with him. Shirahoshi also plans to get in touch with Shirahoshi. After all, he doesn't get in touch. It is estimated that the world government will come to him later. It's just a matter of time. In that case, it's better to take Shirahoshi under his command first. Otherwise, if the power of Shirahoshi's Poseidon is not controlled by the world government, then there will be a little bit of trouble afterwards. As for the blueprint of the Pluton of the capital of Seven Waters, Luo Ning didn't care about it. After all, Pluton cannot be remotely controlled, and it is completely different from Shirahoshi. Pluton is said to be a ship, but even if your Pluton is as big as an island, it is still sad to face Poseidon. People can hide in the sea and let a group of sea kings crazily hit your ship. No matter how strong the defense is, this thing is always created by people. As long as there are enough sea kings, it can be directly destroyed. Therefore, in Luo Ning's opinion, unless Pluton can fly, it must be weaker than the other two ancient weapons. Although Uranus has not shown it yet, it is estimated that it has something to do with natural disasters. After all, it is the most mysterious ancient weapon. Chapter 96 10,000 meters under the sea open black lens bracket subscription 1 tenth close black lens bracket. In fact, Poseidon poses no threat to Luo Ning, but the problem is that Luo Ning is not alone now, he is also a powerful person, and he has more things to consider. When Luo Ning went out to sea, he immediately attracted the attention of countless people. He is no longer a simple existence. When he moves, the eyes of most forces are basically focused on him. However, Luo Ning didn't care, but directly sent the warship to the direction of the Fishman Island. He doesn't need the operation of coding, that thing is not safe in his opinion, it's better to be safe with his own ability. To be honest, there are really a lot of people who have died in Pirate World. Although it will not be easily broken after coding, it is on the bottom of the sea after all. It will not break without external force, but what about external force? A lot of people who go to the Fishman Island die every year, but there are still a lot of desperados running down, Song Neng said that the words that money touches people's hearts are really good. When the interests are large enough, these people can completely disregard their own lives. Speaking of which, Marine also lost a lot of warships this time. In addition to the warships used by Impel Down itself, Zephyr brought people over and took away a lot of warships. Marine can only sulk about this, there is no way, they can't control it. Now that Zephyr has come under Luo Ning's command, do they still dare to make a move? Once they do, the result will be their bad luck. It was only then that they had a fight with Luo Ning, and Marine didn't have any intention of fighting against Luo Ning now, and their own mess hadn't been cleaned up yet. However, they also paid attention to the news of Luo Ning's travel and left. Impel Down has changed its flag, and the current flag has a pair of shackles on it, and two knives are inserted obliquely from both sides. This is the flag of Impel Down, and it is now recognized by the world. Morgans has published the appearance of this flag in the newspaper, so no one dares to touch it when it is hung. Few people even dare to pretend. After all, people who pretend to be Impel Down need a warship and a flag. Besides, there are only so few people in the family, who dares to imitate casually or make a fool of themselves. Isn't this courting death? This time on the voyage, no one dared to take the trouble, and the pirates would walk around when they saw it. Luo Ning planned to go to New World this time, so he didn't arrest people directly. In this way, the ship came to the red line, and after Luo Ning activated his ability, the outer layer of the ship was covered with a protective cover, and it sank directly. Sinking. How did this uncoated ship get into the sea? Some forces that have been staring at Luo Ning have been caught blind now, because their ships are not coated, and Luo Ning did not have them before, so they just drove over with their warships, and now they are sinking directly, what should they do? 
These people are hanging behind Luo Ning's warship, and they are far away, and they can only barely see a little bit. They didn't dare to get close, and no one could guarantee that Luo Ning would be directly sunk by the opponent if he got close. These people also know that they follow Luo Ning, and he doesn't care, just follow if they like, as long as they don't disturb him. Luo Ning's boat entered the sea directly and headed towards the Fishman Island. With a compass, Luo Ning could easily reach the Fishman Island no matter where he entered the sea from. It's the first time for me to come to the bottom of the sea, but this world is really amazing. There are not only Sky Island, which is 10,000 meters above sea level, but also the Fishman Island, which is 10,000 meters under the sea. Nami looked at the beautiful scenery around him with some emotion. Advertisement. After that, the ship went all the way down, and it went down very quickly. To put it bluntly, it was only 10,000 meters. The ship was not so much sailing in the sea as it was flying in the sea. The movement of the ship is controlled by Luo Ning himself, and he also encountered some huge sea kings along the way. Speaking of which, there seems to be super large sea kings down here, and they have intelligence comparable to humans. Luo Ning looked at the position of the deep sea. Those super sea kings were always with Poseidon, but he didn't care too much. For the real strong, their huge size is also a disadvantage. The most typical one is the Elephant Master, don't look at the Elephant Master who will kill Jack and others with one move. But that's also because Jack is stupid, otherwise, the Elephant Master's body is too big, and he can't take care of all places. Once you run to a place where the Elephant Master can't attack, you can imagine the final consequences of the Elephant Master, and the defense of the Elephant Master is really not good, that is, the strength of the attack is super strong. After all, a casual movement of that body, which is measured in kilometers, would destroy the world. Asking for flowers. But the disadvantages are equally obvious, and the same is true for these sea kings. The real power of Poseidon lies in the number of sea kings that the opponent can control. There are too many sea kings in the sea. And Poseidon doesn't need to come forward by himself, just order the sea kings to do something, this is the strongest point of Poseidon. But if you meet a lone ranger like Luo Ning, who is not afraid of the sea, and confronts head-on, Poseidon will be a rookie. Poseidon has a good effect on the public, but it is somewhat worse for the strong individual. The moment the giant sea kings approached Luo Ning's and other ships, Luo Ning released a wave of Reiatsu, and this coercion from the soul made these sea kings run away directly. In this way, the boat came to the Fishman Island very quickly. There are a lot of boats here, these guys are here waiting to catch mermaids. Nami is not Xiaobai who followed Luo Ning just now, Nami has also learned about the situation of the Fishman Island, Nami is extremely unhappy with these human traffickers. After all, the price a mermaid can sell is too high, but because the Fishman Island is Whitebeard's territory, they don't dare to go in and catch people, so they can only guard here. Robin also shook her head, she hated these people too. There is really no good thing. I hate people traffickers the most. Luo Ning glanced at it, and said before that Luo Ning has zero tolerance for any human traffickers. It's good that he didn't meet him. After all, he can't control so many people, but he met them. These people are waiting around, waiting for a mermaid to appear and go directly to catch it. After Luo Ning activated his mind-reading ability, his face was also ugly. None of these guys are innocent, and they are all garbage in the sea. Since they are garbage, Luo Ning doesn't mind doing charity to dispose of them. Luo Ning's fantasy power started to activate, and the huge spikes directly pierced the membranes of these ships. In such a seabed, without the membrane, the consequences can be imagined. As a result, Luo Ning didn't bother to look at it. Anyway, they were all dead people. All traffickers on the periphery of the Fishman Island were all wiped out by Luo Ning. Chapter 97 Jinbei's Worries Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription 2 Tenths Close Black Lens Bracket This. What's going on here? Why did those damned slave traders suddenly become like this? Although there is Whitebeard's blessing, the Fishman Island itself also has a patrol team that has been monitoring these guys outside. After all, some pirates just broke into the Fishman Island regardless of so many. Of course, the final fate of most of the Lingtaching pirates was extremely miserable. Many pirates did not know the specific situation of the Fishman Island when they came for the first time, and even the boat would pass directly over the Fishman Island. Once the coated ship gets close to the upper protective cover, this layer of film will directly fuse, and then the ship will fall directly from a high altitude, and many pirates will die in the end, and the rest will not be able to make any waves up. All kinds of hard-charging pirates have caused a large number of human criminals to be imprisoned in the Fishman Island. You can only say that you died as a, 597, and you can't blame others. Look, there's a ship coming over there, and that flag, is the flag of Impel Down, which Brother Jinbei asked us to pay attention to before. After seeing the flag on the ship, all the murlocs, expressions changed. After Jinbei came back from the sea, he brought back news about Impel Down, which also shocked all the murlocs and merfolk. What kind of existence is the Celestial Dragons? They know very well that the death of Princess Otohime was related to the Celestial Dragons. Of course, this is what they think before the truth is revealed. In their eyes, the Celestial Dragons at that time directly killed Princess Otohime. Under such circumstances, the Fishman Island did not dare to confront the world government because they were afraid. I am afraid that the Fishman Island will be killed directly. You must know that the gap between the Fishman Island and the world government is really too big. Notify the prince and king quickly. This group of people quickly passed the news back, and after knowing the specific situation, Neptune also quickly found Jinbei. 
Why did the Impel Down ship come to the Fishmen Island? Could it be because the matter of Arlong affected us? Jinbei's face was also a little ugly at the moment, he really couldn't think of why the people from Impel Down came here, as for those dead human traffickers and slave traders, they don't care about these guys now. Logically speaking, Impel Down only manages the internal prisoners, so there must be some kind of purpose for appearing on the Fishmen Island. Arlong, he's been caught Impel Down, right? Is the other party really planning to affect us because of Arlong? Neptune was a little confused, because an Arlong spread to the Fishmen Island, isn't it a bit too much? After all, what Arlong has done has provoked almost all human beings. Now even Father Whitebeard is under a lot of pressure. Even the Whitebeard pirates have many people who see Shendu differently in our eyes. Jinbei said helplessly, Arlong's operation has brought tons of hatred to the Fishmen Island. Although Whitebeard is still willing to protect them, now Whitebeard's reputation has also been damaged because of protecting them. There are too many people in the Whitebeard pirates, and some people even think that the Fishmen Island should not be blessed, which is the result of Arlong. But what can they do? Jinbei regretted it to the death. He knew this would happen, he shouldn't have put in conditions to release the B asterisk 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 D Arlong, but now it's good, it has brought them so much trouble. Anyway, let's go and see it first. Advertisement. Neptune set off after speaking. Although he is a king, there are a lot of kings like masters in this world. The people of Impel Down, the status is enough for the King Neptune to pass by himself. In this way, a group of people quickly came to the place where the boat was docked. Because of the identities of Luo Ning and others, the Murloc led them directly to the docked boat and boarded the Fishman Island smoothly. Along the way, Nami laments that this place is amazing. As for researching what is going on, Nami has given up. There are too many wonders in this world, and it is impossible to study them. Even Robin looked around curiously, after all, this is the Fishman Island, and she has never been here. It's just that the murlocs and mermaids around didn't look at them very well. After all, the persecution that humans brought to the Fishman Island was really too great. If it weren't for Whitebeard, it is estimated that the Fishman Island has become a breeding farm, a breeding farm specialized in cultivating murlocs and mermaids. For those slave traders and human traffickers, they can definitely do this kind of thing. Never expect kindness from a bunch of heartless guys. Although the village was ruled by the murlocs back then, Nami has come out of that shadow. She also knows that she can only blame Arlong and his group, so now she will not put her emotions on these murlocs and mermen. It turned out that Luo Ning came in person. When the two sides were about to meet each other, Jinbei and Neptune were even more astonished. It was a big deal for Impel Down to come, but it was even more a big deal for Luo Ning to come in person. Meeting for the first time, His Majesty Neptune, and Jinbei, we meet again. Luo Ning could see that these people were frightened, so he greeted them first. Hello, Mr. Luo Ning, welcome to the Fishman Island. Neptune stuttered, Jinbei also greeted dryly, there was no way, the two were still somewhat worried about Luo Ning's attack on the Fishman Island. There is no doubt that if Luo Ning takes a shot against the Fishman Island, then the Fishman Island will be over. By the way, we have already prepared a banquet in Dragon Palace City, please invite Mr. Luo Ning to come with us. Neptune spoke again, although his tone was still a bit stiff. Then let's go together. It just so happens that there are some things that are not suitable to talk about here. By the way, the soldiers on the ship also ask you to send them some food. 2.4. Although there were plenty of supplies on board, the food eaten on the Fishman Island was naturally somewhat different from that on land. Neptune also nodded quickly and sent his eldest son, Sha Xing, over there. These guys really look very strange. Although they are mermaids and not murlocs, they are not much better than murlocs in this appearance. And everyone is big and thick, but to be honest, what Luo Ning admires most is Princess Otohime, how she got on good terms with Neptune, and how she gave birth to a behemoth like Shirahoshi, it is simply outrageous to the extreme. Some love affairs in One Piece world are really weird. At first glance, it's nothing. After thinking about it, it's scary. It's simply outrageous. Chapter 98 Frightened Jinbei and Neptune Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription 3 Tenths Close Black Lens Bracket It's like a fairy tale, and Sky Island has its own characteristics. All the way to Dragon Palace City, Nami and others saw a lot of beautiful scenery, which cannot be seen on land. Of course, it would be much better if there were no disgusting eyes. Even though Neptune and the others existed, those gazes were restrained a lot, but there were still some disgusting gazes. But the eyes grow on people themselves, they can't control it, can they? When I came to Dragon Palace City, a lot of food had been prepared here, and Neptune asked the kitchen to prepare it immediately after receiving the news. However, there were still some troublesome dishes that were not served, but they were already much better. Welcome again. Mr. Luo Ning, but please forgive me for asking, what is your intention to come to the Fishman Island? Neptune, the king, is always aggrieved, but this is the attitude he should have when facing a strong man. Neptune dare not say too much, and his attitude is very low, after all, he is facing Luo Ning. Let's get straight to the point, Poseidon, you should be very clear, don't tell me you don't know, others don't know, but you must know, Poseidon has already appeared, right? Luo Ning's words directly brought the atmosphere of the audience down to an extremely low level, and everyone was stunned. Neptune was covered in cold sweat. Fortunately, only himself and Luo Ning were here, otherwise the news would spread, and Whitebeard's name would not be able to bear it. 
Poseidon. Poseidon has appeared. This. Jinbei also looked confused. After taking a look at Neptune, he believed Luo Ning's words, and Neptune's reaction was obviously abnormal. If Poseidon didn't show up and Neptune didn't know, then Neptune's current reaction should be blank and negative. But now Newton's cold sweat looks like his secret has been exposed. This means that Poseidon did appear, and Neptune knew about it. Is it Poseidon among the three ancient weapons? Robin next to her was also taken aback. Now she really believes that Luo Ning knows about Poseidon, but since Luo Ning knows about Poseidon, does it mean that Pluton also knows about it? You know that's what Luo Ning said back then. Mr. Luo. Luo Ning. Poseidon. Poseidon has always been a legend in our place. You. Got it wrong. Neptune was in a cold sweat and stammered, even Jinbei and his two sons can't bear to watch this look, at least you should act a little bit more realistically, don't you tell others that you know what you are doing now. I know as much about Poseidon as you do. Poseidon will appear on the mermaid princess in all generations, but it was not born at a fixed time. The mermaid Shirahoshi of this generation is Poseidon, right? After Luo Ning said this, Neptune had confirmed that Luo Ning knew about Poseidon 100%, otherwise how could he say it so clearly and clearly? So you're here for Shirahoshi. Advertisement. Neptune is ready for the best hands-on preparation, even if he knows that the whole the Fishman Island is not the opponent's opponent, but he still has to resist, Shirahoshi is not only Poseidon, but also his daughter. Neptune is a good father. Otherwise, if you change to a guy who only knows power, it is estimated that Shirahoshi has been trained as a war weapon, but Neptune just placed Shirahoshi in a hard shell tower. And the reason for doing this is because that B asterisk 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 D Vanderdecken X knew about marriage proposals and harassment all day long, and he did it to a little girl of a few years old. This is simply a map. And what's even more outrageous is that it's fine to send a confession letter. When there is no response, this guy becomes so angry that he throws his weapon. But Van der Dacken IX's ability is indeed good, the target fruit looks very ordinary, but it is too convenient for positioning. The target target fruit can be used for special information delivery and other things, and this product threw Noah over. It means that his fruit ability can control an island and attack the opponent. After training and training, the strength of Van der Dyken X is estimated to be stronger. This fruit is a very nice fruit. It's just a pity that the people who get the fruit are too rubbish. Don't get me wrong, I'm just trying to recruit Shirahoshi, that's all, you know what Poseidon's appearance means. The world government has not discovered Shirahoshi yet, but outsiders already know about it, such as Vanderdecken X. Once he spreads the news, or Shirahoshi uses such power again, the world government will not let Shirahoshi go. Quote. Luo Ning is also a little speechless about the situation in the original book. Neptune's heart is really beating, and Shirahoshi even went to the Holy Land in the later stage. Isn't this home delivery? Moreover, the world government at that time was not normal. The fact that Shirahoshi was Poseidon was almost exposed. As a result, the world government did not directly attack Shirahoshi. This is outrageous to the extreme. You must know that for Pluton, the world government has spent a lot of effort, but when it comes to Poseidon, they don't care about it. These guys are really outrageous, and the settings of world government have also collapsed a lot. Now it's not in the anime. If Shirahoshi's identity, 780 is leaked out, the world government will definitely keep an eye on it, and the people of the Fishman Island will probably be unlucky too. Quote dot 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 quote. Neptune and the others were stunned. It is true. The world government generally does things unscrupulously. He, Neptune, including Jinbei, has dealt with the world government, and the water is very deep. He has been hiding Shirahoshi's ability all the time, and even according to Neptune's idea, when Shirahoshi awakens his ability, he can clean up Vanderdecken X by himself. Of course, such an operation is almost tantamount to delusion. Shirahoshi's character is so kind, she can even be said to be a super virgin. She didn't even tell Hody Jones, the real murderer who killed her mother. Shirahoshi knew about this, and it was outrageous, and his kindness made people speechless. So even if Shirahoshi has fully awakened his abilities, it is estimated that he will not be able to do anything excessive in the future, which is also a very headache for Neptune. With a character like Shirahoshi, even if he awakens Nenli, he will suffer a lot in the end. He may count the money for others if he is sold. But this kind of personality cannot be modified, and this is what makes him most helpless. Now he is weighing the pros and cons, and Luo Ning's words have moved him a little. If Shirahoshi has a backer, then it seems to be a good choice. Chapter 99 Shirahoshi Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription 4 tenths Close Black Lens Bracket Choose between world government and impel down, Neptune is more inclined to impel down, the news brought back by Jinbei, Luo Ning, who dared to attack celestial dragons, is undoubtedly a huge backer, and he is not afraid of the power of world government at all. And according to the current situation, Luo Ning does not belong to the category of world government. He also knew that when Luo Ning came, he killed all the slave traders and human traffickers outside. This is also a point that makes Neptune more at ease, but he can't fully guarantee that Luo Ning is not a disguise. In short, he is very entangled now. But if you think about it carefully, Shirahoshi's safety is very important, and staying on the Fishman Island is a huge time bomb, and God knows when the world government will do it. It would be fine if the world government simply intends to master it, but what if it intends to kill Sun Xing? That would be bad. Looking at Aim's situation in the original book, it is obvious that he really wants to kill Shirahoshi, but he hasn't done it yet. Go see Shirahoshi first, let Shirahoshi make her own choice. 
In the end Neptune shook his head. He needed to respect his daughter's opinion, so he planned to take a group of people to have a look. It's true, after all, she is not a commodity, and she needs to obtain the consent of the person concerned. Luo Ning also nodded, and the group stopped eating after all. After all, this is an ancient weapon, an ancient weapon that is said to have the ability to destroy heaven and earth. No matter what kind of three ancient weapons they are, they all have terrifying power, and it is very rare to see one of them now. I didn't expect to see Poseidon one day, but I have a question, why is the record of Poseidon on Sky Island? Robin asked what Luo Ning wanted to complain about at the time. I don't know about that, everyone finds it strange, doesn't it? Luo Ning said that he didn't know, because he knew how to get up. What records are you talking about? Neptune asked with some doubts, why Sky Island was involved. Afterwards, Robin also quickly spoke out the main text of Sky Island's history. I remember, you are Nico Robin who made a lot of noise back then, right? The only person who can understand the historical text, but Sky Island has a historical text about Poseidon, it's really strange. Neptune also felt puzzled. The Fishman Island was 10,000 meters under the sea, and Sky Island was 10,000 meters in the sky. What is the connection between the two? I really don't understand. By the way, show Robin the text of the history of the Fishman Island. Although there is no important information in the historical text of the Fishman Island, since Robin wants to read it, he doesn't mind helping. Of course, I will take you there later. Neptune nodded. He found that Luo Ning was easy to talk to, at least not unreasonable. Otherwise, if they robbed Shirahoshi by force, they would not be able to resist. Soon, a group of people came to the hard shell tower. As the mermaid princess in this tower. But why is this tower like this? Nami and Robin were stunned when they saw the tower. The tower was tightly locked, and there were traces of weapon collisions on it. It felt as if countless people had been hacked with weapons. That's the reason why Shirahoshi is here, no, get out of here. Just as Neptune was about to explain, suddenly an axe flew down from the sky, which shocked Neptune too, and he spoke immediately. Advertisement. However, the axe was shot down by Luo Ning with Reiatsu before it got close to the crowd. That's why Shirahoshi is here. Neptune told what had happened over the years, but this time Nami beat him up. That guy must be sick. He actually proposed to a child of a few years old, and he used such a disgusting method. Nami was very angry after hearing this. How can this be done by humans? It's all because of Poseidon's identity. You really think he would like a child of a certain age, but it's because he noticed Shirahoshi Poseidon's identity, so he did this kind of thing. But one thing is certain, he is indeed brainless. Luo Ning shook his head, Van der Dykenix has no brains, with this method, only an idiot would think of marrying Shirahoshi to him. This guy's brain itself has a lot of problems. It's because of this that this guy is even more hateful. Nami said angrily, don't be so angry, you don't need to be angry with the garbage area, what we need to do is to sweep the garbage into the garbage dump, it's that simple. While talking, a clone appeared beside Luo Ning, and then left quickly. My avatar will catch this guy, and then kill him and we'll be done. Luo Ning said indifferently, Jinbei and others who saw this scene were also relieved. Luo Ning's avatar is not simple. When they got Luo Ning's information, there was a record about Luo Ning's avatar, Luo Ning's avatar has the strength second only to Admiral. Of course, that's what Marine himself thinks, Luo Ning's clone strength is not static, but according to the strength of his fantasy, he fully injects the power of fantasy into the clone, then the clone's strength is the same as his heyday. This avatar naturally doesn't need to do this, just inject a little fantasy power. The clone went to Noah, where Van der Dacken IX was. A murloc who ate devil fruit was still alive in the sea. You can only wait to die. Once you soak in the sea water, he has no ability to speak of. At that time, it will be a dead end. But now he too is finished. The clone is dispatched, and one, well, walker enters the crust tower, and then sees Shirahoshi. Comma dot. Okay, so big, is this really a mermaid? Are you sure it's not a titan? Looking at Shirahoshi's huge size, Nami was very surprised, Shirahoshi's size is really too big. The mermaid princesses carried by Poseidon in the past are like this, and they will be the largest among all mermaids. Looking at Shirahoshi, Luo Ning said, this is indeed not much different from the titans, but the other party is a mermaid, which has nothing to do with the titans. They were all grown up by the power of Poseidon. Although the current Shirahoshi is huge, he is a child. When the original Luffy came, Shirahoshi was already 16 years old, but now, Shirahoshi is only about 11 years old. Ah, seeing so many people, Shirahoshi was a little scared and a little surprised, after all, there are not so many people here usually, and there are humans. Chapter 100 Clean up the garbage open black lens bracket subscription 5 tenths close black lens bracket. Under the explanation of Neptune and others, Shirahoshi also knew what was going on. Shirahoshi is just pure, but it doesn't mean she is a fool. It's just that she hasn't had much contact with others here, so she is somewhat uncomfortable, but Shirahoshi still understands. To put it bluntly, a powerful existence wants to recruit her now, and she is facing other dangers. I see, Master Luo Ning, after I promise, can I go to the sea to have a look? Shirahoshi is very eager for land. In the original book, Shirahoshi is very eager to go to land. Of course, we all live on the surface of the sea, after all, you will naturally go to the surface of the sea in the future. Luo Ning nodded. Then I agree, Shirahoshi said very simply, making everyone startled. 
Is it necessary to be so simple? It's just that you can go to the sea to see it. It's really drunk. Luo Ning was a little speechless. Shirahoshi's personality is too simple, and he is too young now, so the current Shirahoshi is really easy to fool, and he doesn't even need to fool him. Then Neptune, Shirahoshi will be my subordinate from now on. Of course, I will not force her to do anything, but since she is my subordinate in 023, then I will also give you some preferential treatment from the Fishman Island. I allow you to fly the flag of Impel down, but remember, it is only for self-protection. Luo Ning also gave a banner, which is considered a means of protection, and his protection is more useful than that of Whitebeard. Really? Then thank you Lord Luo Ning. Neptune's title has changed. Although he is not considered Luo Ning's subordinate, since his daughter is the other subordinate, he automatically assumes this role. Because Luo Ning is not a pirate, there is no conflict between Luo Ning's protection and Whitebeard's protection. The only conflict is Jinbei, the Shichibukai, but to put it bluntly, the world government has no protection for the Fishman Island at all. So this can be ignored. In this way, I can finally get rid of my Shichibukai identity. The reason why Jinbei became Shichibukai is not because after becoming Shichibukai, it can borrow the reputation of world government to bless the Fishman Island. Although the effect is not very good, as long as it is useful. It's just that because of the summit war, Tony won the title of Shichibukai after Jinbei, and Jinbei is also an existence that Luo Ning is more optimistic about. Jinbei's character design is indeed very good, he knows how to repay favors and break the rules, should he be called a mere for Emperor's old Jinbei. Without the world government, you can join Impel Down. Of course, the murlocs in Impel Down cannot be released. They must pay for what they did. Luo Ning is still more optimistic about Jinbei, and he doesn't bother to recruit another one. Upon receiving such news, Jinbei was also a little surprised. There are many people trying to squeeze in at Impel Down, but there is no shortage of people. Except for those brought in by Luo Ning himself, there is no way for anyone else to join this force. So they can only watch, because it is difficult to join, so this makes the gold content of Impel Down even higher. Jinbei agreed without hesitation, but he was the only one to join, and the people under his command were not counted. But with such an identity, he can naturally protect his subordinates. Advertisement. By the way, there are still a few guys that need to be dealt with. Luo Ning split into several clones again and left the hard shell tower. This is, a group of people looked at Luo Ning with some doubts. Besides Van Der Dyken X, the Fishman Island has some guys to deal with, like Hody Jones. After Luo Ning said the name, Jinbei and the others also frowned. Did this guy bother you? Jinbei is a little puzzled. They are, CBFH, extremely unhappy with Hody Jones. Hody Jones has always had a personality similar to Arlong. He thinks that human beings are rubbish, and he only wants the Fishman Island and human beings. Go to war. But how could this kind of thing be possible, and what Hody Jones despises the most is Jinbei, after all Jinbei is a Shichibukai, a running dog of human beings. It doesn't count, but it's true that that guy provoked you. How do you think Princess Otohime died back then? Luo Ning's words stunned the murlocs. Didn't Princess Otohime be killed by humans? Jinbei asked in a daze, is there anything wrong here? Shirahoshi, please tell me. Some things must be clarified. Don't forget, Princess Otohime is your mother. Even if you don't want to cause any disputes, Hody Jones must pay the price. After Luo Ning finished speaking, under the eyes of Neptune and others, Shirahoshi said what he knew back then. Damn it, it turned out to be the B asterisk 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 D Hody Jones, I can't spare her. The second prince, Huang Xing, and the third prince, Xing Xing, who were accompanying them, were immediately filled with anger. They originally thought that Princess Yi Ji was killed by humans, but they turned their heads and told them that they were killed by their own people. From the beginning to the end of the relationship, they are fighting among themselves, which is simply outrageous to the extreme. My avatar will bring them all here, and then you and they will settle the matter slowly. Whether it is Van Der Dakonix or Hody Jones and his group, they are actually hopeless. Luo Ning also has no idea of bringing them to Impel Down. Undoubtedly, after being brought to Impel Down, these guys will suffer a lot, worse than death. But this is the Fishman Island's own business, so naturally he won't interfere too much. Soon, Luo Ning's avatar arrived with a very strange murloc, and this guy was none other than Van Der Dakonix. At this moment, this guy has no energy, Luo Ning's avatar has poured a lot of seawater into this guy, and now his stomach is full of seawater, so he has no strength to resist at all. After seeing that he was taken to the hard shell tower, Van Der Dyken IX was stunned. He never thought that he would be arrested one day. This guy is handed over to you. After Luo Ning took back one of his avatars, Neptune looked at Van Der Dyken X lying dead at his feet and wished he could get down with a fork. It was because of this B asterisk 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 D that his daughter could only live in this kind of place all the time. As for the Crashing Star and Wangxing, they have already started to beat Vander Dakin X. After the guy was beaten until he rolled his eyes, the two stopped. If Shirahoshi was not here, he was afraid of making too bloody and making his sister feel uncomfortable. These two would probably beat this guy to death instead of ending like this. Chapter 101 The Garbage Taught by Garbage Open Black Lens Bracket Please subscribe 6 tenths close black lens bracket. Okay, throw this guy into the prison first, and deal with him later. Originally, Neptune also planned to execute this guy directly, but because Shirahoshi was here, he was temporarily put in prison, but this guy is dead, there is no doubt about it. 
And because he encountered a lot of sea water when he came, his hands were also washed. Once this guy's ability is washed, the touched target will be eliminated unless he touches the other party again. Now he has the ability, but he can't use it. Moreover, there is still a lot of seawater in his stomach, so he can't use his ability at all. Van der Dacken IX was thrown into the prison just like that. Soon, Hody Jones was also arrested. As for his subordinates, they were directly killed by Luo Ning's avatar. The only one who was really caught was Hody Jones. Hody Jones is still in a dazed state. He was still drinking, and a few identical humans appeared out of nowhere, and then he killed all his subordinates. Although they counterattacked, the counterattack was very weak in front of the opponent, so that several people were quickly eliminated, and he was the only one left, and then he was caught here. Hody Jones. Seeing Hody Jones, Neptune directly stabbed the back part of the trident in his hand, without using the side of the trident, but this dull blow also broke a bone of Hody Jones. Hody Jones is actually very average. The reason why he was able to fight with Luffy and others is because he took drugs, and the drugs he took were not even a star. When the sequelae broke out in the end, each of them was overdrawn for an unknown amount of life, and became extremely fragile. King Neptune. Why are you arresting me? Now Hody Jones is still a little confused, after all, he thinks that no one knows what he did back then. You have the nerve to say that Otohime was killed by UB asterisk 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 D back then. Neptune clicked again, but this time Hody Jones showed a sinister expression. You actually knew it, no one else should have seen that I did it back then. How did you know? Originally, he wanted to quibble, but seeing Neptune and others staring at him so firmly, wishing to tear himself to pieces, he knew that these people were sure that what happened back then was done by him. You don't need to know this, you just need to know, and you will pay for it. Neptune stared at Hody Jones. After all, his wife was killed, so he couldn't calm down. The price. What kind of price do you weak guys want me to pay? You guys who have forgotten the blood and tears of our ancestors, what right do you have to make me pay the price? At this moment, Hody Jones' face became extremely distorted. Cough, interrupt, may I ask what qualifications you have to say such a thing? Luo Ning was a little puzzled and asked, although the ancestors of the Murlocs did pay a heavy price, but what does this have to do with Hody Jones? Advertisement. What qualifications do I have? I am a monster bred in this environment. I have the hatred of the ancestors towards human beings in me. You damn guys are only thinking about living and working in peace and contentment, completely forgetting the hatred of the ancestors. Hody Jones scolded all the murlocs and mermen. If I remember correctly, you don't seem to have experienced those things, you just heard people say that's all. It seems that it was Arlong who instilled this idea in you, and yes, the stuff taught by rubbish is not much different from rubbish. You are nothing more than a brainwashed idiot. If you have not experienced this, what qualifications do you have to speak? Tiger has experienced this, so he dared to climb the red line directly, dared to fight against the celestial dragons, released all the slaves, and dared to send the humans who were also slaves back to their hometown. Although they died because of this in the end, to put it bluntly, no matter any race, there are some garbage. Don't tell me you're always just victims. Arlong has a lot of victims at East Blue. Of course, for rubbish like yours, it probably takes it for granted. Actually, you don't oppose discrimination, but simply oppose discrimination against you murlocs and mermaids. As for you, you still discriminate against other races, and you still put yourself on this commanding height. Are you worthy? Asking for flowers. Luo Ning asked disdainfully, don't look at the monster that Hody Jones introduced in such an awesome environment. To put it bluntly, he is just a fool who was brainwashed by others. Furthermore, this guy reminded Luo Ning of some people in his previous life, they were not against discrimination, they just objected to being discriminated against, but they very much agreed that they discriminated against others, they were all the same rubbish. By the way, there is one more thing, do you believe that if Arlong knows what you have done, Arlong will also kill you? Luo Ning said again that Hody Jones had done a lot of things during the Celestial Dragons incident. But if the angry crowd really kills the Celestial Dragons, then undoubtedly the Fishman Island will be directly wiped out by the world government. Not to mention that this race will completely disappear in this sea, but it is estimated that there will be only one hand left. Count the coming population. So what Hody Jones did back then was completely exterminating his own race. Although Arlong was insane, he would not do much to his own people. Let him know Hody Jones's brain dead operation, and he will probably be the first to kill this B asterisk 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 D, the brain dead one. After scolding the other party severely, Luo Ning also felt at ease. Although it would not make sense to say so much about this kind of brainwashed rubbish, at least he would feel better after scolding. Although Huo D. Jones is also cursing at Luo Ning now, Luo Ning also directly sealed the mouth of this guy, so as not to let this guy bother him. Did this guy be taught by Arlong? Nami was a little relieved to hear Luo Ning scold Hadi Jones, but she was even more disgusted when she heard that this guy was taught by Arlong, and she would never forgive Arlong. That's right, that's why I said this guy is rubbish. I was indoctrinated with a lot of rubbish thoughts by rubbish. How much do you expect from him? Luo Ning shook his head. In the end, Hadi Jones was also imprisoned, and then he found time to execute him directly. This was also Neptune's plan. He couldn't let Hody Jones and Van der Dyken Ix, the two insane guys, live, so they all had to be killed, leaving no one behind. Chapter 102 The current situation of the Fishman Island Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription 7 tenths Close Black Lens Bracket
The two guys were temporarily imprisoned, and the Fishman Island was no longer a threat. Neptune also directly announced the crimes of Hody Jones and Vanderdecken Ix. As for Shirahoshi, Luo Ning also gave her a gift. Luo Ning injected his fantasy power into Shirahoshi's body, allowing Shirahoshi to have legs, and can switch between the legs and fish tail at will, and also made Shirahoshi's body shrink to the size of a normal person. This is also more convenient. After all, although Luo Ning's warship can drive Shirahoshi, Shirahoshi can't be allowed to sleep on the deck every day, and although the fish tail can walk freely, it is still more convenient for the legs. It's just that Shirahoshi, who has just gained two legs, is very uncomfortable. Basically, he just falls on the ground step by step. If it weren't for someone to support him, he probably wouldn't know how he fell. Although giving Shirahoshi such an ability scattered a little of Luo Ning's fantasy power, but for the current Luo Ning, such fantasy is not difficult at all. However, this operation was watched by Neptune and others, who never expected Luo Ning to have such an ability. But this is also a good thing. Although Shirahoshi doesn't need to worry about his identity being leaked after being with Luo Ning, but in order to prevent accidents from causing trouble, Neptune directly asked Vanderdyken X to become the king before execution. Dumb. To prevent this guy from telling this secret, although there were many people who witnessed Shirahoshi summoning sea kings back then, there were not many people who knew Poseidon, otherwise Shirahoshi would not have been able to grow so big in the hard shell tower safely. So Van der Dacken IX's mouth must be sealed, and Neptune's attack is quite straightforward. After disposing of the rubbish, Shirahoshi has become a normal human size. Although he is still practicing walking, it is no big deal. Jinbei joined Luo Ning's command, and Luo Ning didn't ask Jinbei to do anything, just let him cooperate with Zephyr's work. Zephyr has been crazily catching pirates at sea during this time, and all the guilty ones he encountered were caught. However, because Luo Ning temporarily left Impel down, those who were caught later were temporarily detained. After all, it is not sure whether there are innocent people among them. He had to wait until Luo Ning went back or sent Violet back. Jinbei usually doesn't need to go to the big prison, and it's no problem to stay in the Fishman Island, but he needs to cooperate with the work of the law. For Luo Ning, Zephyr completely trusts. After all, Luo Ning has the ability to read minds, and Zephyr has not gone to the extreme level in the original drama version, so he can naturally accept people who can be accepted by Luo Ning. Even Jinbei was one of Shichibukai before. Jinbei broke away from Shichibukai, and the Fishman Island hung the flag of Impel down, coupled with the mass death of slave traders this time, many human trafficker groups with backers dared not continue to do things on the Fishman Island. Of course, it's just the majority, and there are some who are not afraid of death. They have long put life and death behind them for the sake of profit, so these people are still there. It's just that the number has been reduced a lot. On Luo Ning's side, he also took two girls to stroll around the Fishman Island. Because Hody Jones' charges were announced, the Murlocs and Merfolk on the Fishman Island had less hatred for humans, but only a little bit. After all, this kind of hatred is accumulated over time, and it cannot be eliminated so easily. Advertisement. But now that Luo Ning and the others were walking on the road, not many people would look at them with hatred. After all, Luo Ning's promise to bless the Fishman Island has already been announced by Neptune. Coupled with Luo Ning's identity, although what Luo Ning does now is not as good as that of Whitebeard back then, the nature is the same. Whitebeard has the highest treatment here. After all, Whitebeard saved the Fishman Island in chaos and chose to bless the Fishman Island. In fact, many murlocs and mermaids are now relieved. As time goes by, Whitebeard is getting older and older. Humans will always die. Once Whitebeard dies, will the Fishman Island change again? What about the chaotic scene before? There are quite a few people who have such worries, but the appearance of Luo Ning makes this worry disappear. Luo Ning's deterrence is even greater than that of Whitebeard, and the most important thing is that Luo Ning's age is here. Open black lens bracket. So this also made the murlocs and mermaids a little relieved, at least they are safe now. Nami asked with some doubts, including Robin who was also a little curious at 1.8. Robin actually didn't believe in such things as prophecy, but the Shiarly matter was indeed a bit mysterious, but now that Luo Ning talked about identity again, she asked even more curious. However, with the incident of Hody Jones, such a situation is rare. Luo Ning can at least guarantee the stability of the Fishman Island for 50 or 60 years without any accidents. What identity? Is it hard to see? This identity is nothing to others, but it means a lot to Nami. It's just that these people don't have much strength, they can only stay in the dark corners and hate humans all the time, even brainwashing their own next generation. Luo Ning glanced at Nami as he spoke, but Nami was immediately stunned when he heard the news, including Robin who was also a little stunned. Are you really planning to go? Have you ever known the identity of the other party? Luo Ning glanced at Nami strangely. Indeed, the Fishman Island does have such a powerful fortune teller, Mrs. Shiarly. Robin has already seen the historical text of the Fishman Island. Indeed, there is not much useful information in this historical text, but this is a historical text anyway. After playing in the Fishman Island for a few days, Nami got the information about divination from nowhere, and was a little excited to take Luo Ning and Robin to have a try. You must know that Arlong is still in the deep sea prison, and he was sent in by Luo Ning himself. This is equivalent to double insurance, so that Luo Ning will not suffer too many stares here. Of course, there will still be some people who are similar to Arlong Hody Jones. This fortune teller is called Shiarly, and she is the owner of the Mermaid Cafe, but she has another identity, she is Arlong's younger sister. 
Moreover, Luo Ning and Whitebeard belong to two different forces, so their blessings do not conflict. I heard that there is a very famous divination master here on the Fishmen Island, who seems to be able to divination for everything, how about we go and try? After all, Cody Jones killed Princess Otohime, and even almost took the entire the Fishmen Island directly into hell. They hate humans, but it doesn't mean they hate their own compatriots. Thinking about it now, I feel horrible. Chapter 103 Fortune Editor Shiarly, the future that cannot be predicted open black lens bracket subscription 8 tenths close black lens bracket. You don't need to be too entangled. Although Shiarly is Arlong's younger sister, she and Arlong don't have much in common. And don't forget, we didn't do anything excessive to Arlong. Arlong did it all by himself, and he needs to pay for what he did. Seeing Nami's troubled look, Luo Ning shook his head. As a victim, he was still worried about this. Xiarli had no reason to trouble Nami. After all, Arlong was not sent to prison by Nami, but Luo Ning. From beginning to end, Nami was a victim. That's right, why should I worry, but let's forget about the divination, there should be no chance. Nami also nodded, but she also gave up the nod of divination. After all, this is her enemy's sister, and she really doesn't know how to get along with her. It's actually not difficult to do divination, we just need to borrow the names of Neptune and the others, and to be honest, I'm also somewhat interested in her divination. Luo Ning is indeed very interested in Xiarli's divination. Xiarli's divination is very accurate, and many major events have been predicted by Xiarli. Although her 21 can only see a partial picture, such as Luffy standing in front of the Fishman Island that is about to be destroyed. They collectively thought that Luffy would destroy the Fishman Island, causing Luffy and others to be targeted by the people of Dragon Palace. In the end, Xiarli directly destroyed the crystal ball she used for divination. To be honest, this kind of divination is not very useful. She can only see a corner of the future. And the corner of the future she saw naturally included the process of her divination, so no matter how she told the result, things would definitely happen in the end. This kind of divination seems awesome, but it is useless at all. It's just that people are always curious about their future, and Luo Ning is like this. Luo Ning was also curious about his future, whether he could be divined by Xiarli, so he decided to go and see. After that, Luo Ning found Neptune and others. With the help of Neptune and others, it would not be a problem to find Xiarli for divination. Although Xiarli seldom helps people with divination, but the king has come forward, Xiarli can only help naturally, this time Xi Lai brought Luo Ning and the others together. The group soon arrived at the mermaid cafe. Here, the mermaids were very polite to them. After all, Luo Ning was one of the patrons of the Fishmen Island, and they could still distinguish good from bad. Divination. Let me tell you first, my divination may not necessarily have a good result, and it is very likely that it will be a result that you cannot accept. Xiarli didn't say much about Arlong's matter, but directly spoke about her own divination. Don't worry, you just need to divination our future. Luo Ning doesn't care about these, but let Junxin play. Hearing Luo Ning's indifferent words, Xiarli naturally didn't say anything more, but started divination directly, but soon, Xiarli frowned. What's wrong? Did you see any bad pictures? Luo Ning asked curiously. No, that's not the case, it's just that. I can't see anything, this is the first time I have encountered such a situation, and I can't provide you with future information. Xiarli shook his head, Luo Ning also activated the mind-reading ability, and then he found that Xiarli was not lying, but really couldn't take it out. That's it, forget it, let's help them see. Luo Ning shook his head, and asked Xiarli to help Nami and Robin, but soon Xiarli sent back the same result. Advertisement. Likewise, divination fails. Divination is useless, how is this possible? Jinbei is very aware of Chu Shili's divination, and now the future of the three cannot be predicted, which makes him very surprised. After all, Xiarli's divination is notoriously accurate, even predicting the arrival of the Age of Great Navigation, and now Jing'an is directly invalid. Jinbei, can you ask Xiarli to do a divination for you? Luo Ning narrowed his eyes and asked. Me, of course. Jinbei said that although he is not very interested in the future, it seems that it is not a big problem to be divined now. But then things go wrong again, because Jinbei's future is also blurred. This made Luo Ning squint his eyes, and he had some guesses. Not surprisingly, the future of the people directly related to him has changed, and his future cannot be predicted, so the same is true for others. What's going on? Why can't anyone see the future clearly? Xiarli, who doesn't believe in evil, found an employee to try it out, but he could see some pictures of the other party's future. This also made Luo Ning more certain. Those who have direct contact with him really can't see the future, but the Fishman Island Luo Ning is just a blessing, and never thought of taking it under his command. In other words, Luo Ning didn't actually have the idea of conquering the sea, but just occupied and impel down. So the Fishman Island is not affected by him, and these mermaids who have little to do with him can still be divined into the future. I'm really sorry, I don't know what went wrong, anyway, I can't predict your future. After making sure it wasn't her fault, Xiarli could only shake her head, she really didn't know how to operate it. It's okay, I almost know the reason, thank you this time. Luo Ning nodded and left with a group of people. 977 inches brother Luo Ning, what is the reason why we cannot be divined? Nami asked curiously. Robin and Jinbei also pricked up their ears, it's not that they are two-eight trigrams, but this matter is indeed very curious. I'm just guessing, maybe because you have a direct connection with me. 
She can't predict my future, and your future must have some connection with me, so it has also affected your future. Of course, this is just my guess, and there may be other unknown reasons. Luo Ning said his guess. Although it sounds a bit weird here, Luo Ning is indeed a very special existence in the eyes of Nami and others. The invincible existence in Dahai, there has never been a person like Luo Ning in Dahai before. Even one piece is not worth mentioning in front of Luo Ning. Okay, don't worry about it, take advantage of these few days to go shopping quickly, and then find someone. During this period of time, the prison is overcrowded, because the execution of the prison will continue to consume the number of prisoners. However, they did not dare to go to prison without any real certainty. Therefore, under the urging of Zephyr and others these days, Luo Ning could only send a clone back to carry it. He used a clone. Chapter 104 Entering the New World Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription 9 tenths Close Black Lens Bracket Although maintaining an avatar is not very strenuous for Luo Ning, the scattered imagination also needs to be maintained by Luo Ning, so if there are suitable subordinates, let the suitable subordinates do it. And Brother Ming must also want to earn some free money, just bring Violet back by the way. After that, Luo Ning also planned to set up a ring in the big prison. There are quite a few strong players in Impel Down, but these strong players are all in a weak state. I tried it with Golden Lion, and I can earn a second set of free points, so there are quite a lot of free points on the fifth and sixth floors of Impel Down. He plans to build a big ring in Impel Down later, and use these free points. Of course, since I went to the New World, it would be unreasonable not to take a wave of four emperors, wool by the way. Except for Shanks, the other four emperors are all big families and big businesses. Continue to stay in the Fishman Island for a few days, after all, the scenery of the Fishman Island is indeed very good, after staying for a few days, Luo Ning took a group of people to New World. This time Shirahoshi also followed. Although he is not very old, it is safest to stay with Luo Ning now. Of course, it is estimated that not many people will think that Shirahoshi is Poseidon. After all, Shirahoshi is no longer a mermaid. He has legs, just like a normal human child. During the period, Nami and Robin often got together with Shirahoshi, and Nami was only a few years older than Shirahoshi, not much. As for Robin, the current role is equivalent to the big sister of the two. After the ship entered New World, the weird weather of New World made people confused. This weird weather is really weird. It may be sunny in the last second, and it may directly rain hail in the next second, and it is also super large kind of. Even Nami was directly fooled for a while. But with Luo Ning around, this kind of weather won't affect them at all. I knew about the weather in New World when I was down in Impel, and I knew that the weather in New World was very weird, but I didn't expect it to be so weird. As an excellent navigator, Nami is now being directly bullied. You know, even Nami who learned in Sky Island in the original book will take a little time to adapt, let alone now. Although Nami has studied in Impel Down now, but she is not very experienced, so she herself is a little confused. But she is also a capable person, although she is still relatively weak, it is difficult for this kind of weather to affect her, as long as she is careful not to touch the sea water. Is this the weather on the sea? It's terrible. At this moment, Shirahoshi almost cried, but luckily the hail did not fall, otherwise, Shirahoshi would probably really cry. Don't be afraid, not all places are the same as New World, and New World also has weird weather everywhere. Luo Ning gave a word of comfort, and then the ship sailed quickly in the direction of Doris Rosa. Soon, the ship left the sea area with strange weather. Many pirates collapsed when they first entered New World. In addition to the large number of New World pirates, there is also the weird weather. Even those who have been in New World for a while can't say that they can be 100% 100 to deal with these weather. Advertisement. That is to say, those big forces and those strong enough, they have their own roots, and even if they encounter any danger, they can rely on their own strength to prevent all accidents. Just like Luo Ning, once Reiatsu is released, it forms a shield, and nothing can hurt them. After leaving the weird area, everyone's sailing became smooth sailing. It was the first time Shirahoshi had seen such a sea since he was a child, so he was still in a relatively excited state. When the ship came to Doris Rosa, Shirahoshi was even more excited when he saw the city belonging to humans. Is this what the human kingdom looks like? What are these things? Toys? But why can they talk? At the moment, Shirahoshi is like Grandma Lu who has just entered the Grand View Garden. Although this metaphor is used to describe Shirahoshi is a bit too much, but the situation is like this. This is a specialty of Doris Rosa, although it is not a good thing. Luo Ning glanced at these toys, he knew exactly what these toys were, and these toys were turned into toys by Granos with the childlike fruit ability. Granos's childlike fruit ability is very pervert, and it can be called a rule-based fruit. Once touched by the opponent, it will be turned into a toy, and after becoming a toy, its combat power will disappear. Even people who have conqueror's hockey will not be able to hurt anyone under the control of the sugar, and even their actions will be controlled. And the most crucial point, once turned into a toy, this person will disappear from other people's memory, which is simply outrageous to the extreme. This childlike fruit Luo Ning was shocked when he first found out. This ability is simply awesome to the extreme, to give Granos a chance, she can even turn the four emperors and even I am into toys, making the other party's existence disappear from everyone's memory. However, there are also some disadvantages of the ability of the childlike fruit ability user, that is, they cannot grow up. Granos looks only 10 years old, but he is actually in his 20s. 
Luo Ning glanced at Shirahoshi, and suddenly thought, should Shirahoshi eat this fruit? It seems that it is indeed feasible, and this ability is indeed perverted to the extreme. As for the sugar, I'm sorry, he didn't think about it, it's too vicious. Even though Granos is a legitimate lowly, and she looks good, but this is not a good thing, Baby Five is better, at least once she has settled on a partner, she will become loyal. It's just that Brother Ming doesn't know how to use resources with you, so that he was taken down by Lao Kai, another pair of Beauty and the Beast. Brother Ming could obviously, Zhao Qinhao, completely turn Baby Five into his loyal loyalist, but he still let Baby Five follow Lao Kai. It can only show that Brother is really weird. It happened that Luo Ning was planning to find a nanny for Shirahoshi. Once Baby Five was subdued, she would also be a qualified maid, although this maid was still a fighting maid. As for the rest of the Don Quixote family, Lu Ning has no intention of letting go. The main reason is that he is too loyal. To be honest, Brother Ming has this group of family members. Although they are extremely vicious to outsiders, they are very loyal to their own people. This is indeed good. This is also one of the few shining points of these people. But the only thing that can instigate rebellion is Baby Five, no one else is possible, otherwise Luo Ning would not mind letting some pleasing guys do something good to redeem their sins, after all, he does things as he pleases, following his own ideas, but this idea is out of the question. Chapter 105 Cyrus's request for help open black lens bracket subscription 10 out of 10 close black lens bracket. After Luo Ning and others boarded De Reese Rosa, the people at the port immediately reported the news to Brother Ming and others, and learned that Luo Ning, an existence many times more terrifying than Kaido, had come to De Reese Luo Sa, Brother Ming broke out in a cold sweat. Brother Ming is indeed full of arrogance and madness, but it also depends on the target, at least he can't be crazy when facing Kaido, and he can't be crazy when facing Luo Ning who is even more terrifying than Kaido. Almost immediately, Brother Ming summoned all the people in the family that could be called. Dover, why did this monster come to De Reese Rosa? What should we do now? This guy is famous for attacking pirates. If he plans to attack us. Even if Kaido comes in person, he won't be able to keep us. A group of cadres are also covered in cold sweat now. They now have the idea of fleeing directly, but their loyalty to Brother Ming prevents them from doing so. This is the biggest shining point on them. To be honest, there are indeed some people who are pleasing to the eye among these people, such as the guy who swims in the ground. Although the dress is very naive, there is really nothing to say about the other party's behavior. There is a good heart under the funny appearance. But among these people, the only one 027 can instigate rebellion is Baby 5. As for the others, they are all loyal to Brother Ming. Let Granu get ready. If this guy really intends to attack us, let Granu try to turn him into a toy. If he can do it, then it will be easy. The biggest whole card in Ming Ji's hand is Granu, and Granu is the only one who can break the game. Now Ming can only pray that Luo Ning will not mess around, and that Granu can turn Luo Ning into a toy. As long as it becomes a toy, everything is still his. Brother Ming is very clear that his current winning percentage is nothing more than constantly jumping between Shui and 100. I see, I'm going to find Sugar now. Torebel immediately went to find Sugar. What about us? Pika pointed to himself and others and asked, he couldn't just wait here. To greet the other party, you can't leave any excuses for him, at least on the surface you have to do it. As soon as Brother Ming gritted his teeth, he led a group of cadres and left the palace directly. Luo Ning has his subordinates watching, so he can grasp the position. What the hell are the toys here? Nami and the others, CBFB, after hearing Luo Ning's words, asked a little strangely, it seems that these toys are not good things. There's nothing wrong with the toys themselves, it's the people who make them. You'll know later, and don't go to those toys now. Luo Ning glanced around and said, most of the toys here are human beings, of course, there are also a small number of beasts, thinking about it is also drunk, Brother Ming and the others really change everything, giving gorillas and giant pythons to them became a toy. There are also pirates, revolutionary army, and marine that have all been turned into toys, which caused Brother Ming to block the news here very well. When everyone was walking on the street, suddenly a figure rushed out from the side alley, and came directly in front of Luo Ning. This is a red toy man with one leg. Master Luo Ning, can you listen to me? The one-legged toy soldier kneels directly in front of Luo Ning. Advertisement. This toy soldier is naturally Cyrus, and he has just discovered the traces of Luo Ning. Before that, Cyrus also knew the existence of Luo Ning through the newspaper. Now he is taking such a risk with only one purpose, and that is to ask for help. Cyrus also had to do the same. If he wanted to save the country and the people who were turned into toys here, he could only find a way to defeat Doflamingo. But he didn't have this strength. Back then, he was turned into a toy after being cut off by Brother Ming in an instant. He went to find King Liku, but King Liku had already forgotten his existence. He has always been by his daughter Rebecca's side, taking care of and teaching Rebecca. Because Rebecca was abducted by human traffickers, she shot humans and was even wanted. He's never had anything against Doflamingo. To this day, the reason why he ventured out to find Luo Ning is because of the evaluation of Luo Ning in the newspaper. Luo Ning even dared to provoke the world government, and the celestial dragons dared to capture and execute them, and even drove all marines back. This terrifying record made Cyrus go all out. Cyrus, right. However, in the next second, Luo Ning's words made Cyrus stupefied. Although he could still tell the truth after becoming a toy without any control, his existence had completely disappeared from this world. 
He didn't know how long he would have to wait until the country was liberated if he missed this opportunity. Tongshu fruit is not omnipotent, and you do exist in my memory. Luo Ning, who had just crossed over and had no strength, still knows these things clearly, and will not forget them. About De Reese Rose's matter, I am very clear, I am also very clear about what they did in Doflamingo, I will solve this matter, you don't need to worry. After hearing Luo Ning's words, the others were in a fog, after all, they couldn't understand at all. He also went all out this time. No one else remembers his existence, and Sugar's abilities are too heaven-defying. Why do you know me? And things about this country? Are you not affected by the ability of the fruit? For Cyrus, although his strength is not very strong, Cyrus is a qualified soldier and has never given up on his daughter. All in all, the overall perception of Luo Ning is not bad. This made him very uncomfortable, and it didn't feel good to be forgotten by the world, but now, someone actually said his name, which made Cyrus completely confused. Rebecca is about the same age as Shirahoshi, but now Rebecca has some self-preservation power under his teaching. At this moment, Nami and others pestered Luo Ning to let him tell them the specific situation. The feeling of not knowing anything was really uncomfortable. Luo Ning shook his head. When he traveled to this world, he didn't know whether it was because he was an outsider, or because the child's interest fruit would only disappear the trace of this person in this world at the moment of activation. Cyrus asked with some doubts, and now his mind is full of doubts. Even he found King Liku, but King Liku didn't remember his existence. Looking at the uncomfortable expressions of Nami and others, Luo Ning was also a little emotional. Sure enough, although he usually hates Riddlers, when he became a Riddler himself, he had to say that it was really cool. Chapter 106 Free Sugar Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription Close Black Lens Bracket Okay, I won't tease you anymore. Seeing a group of people being tortured by the Riddler, Luo Ning couldn't help laughing, and then told everyone about Tongchu fruit. How can there be such a fruit? This kind of fruit is too foul. Nami suddenly felt that his thunder fruit was no longer fragrant. If he was accidentally touched by the other party, the result would be the same as a toy, and the most terrifying thing was that his own existence disappeared from other people's memory. Thinking of her sister, Luo Ning, and the people in Kokosha village forgetting about herself, Nami felt a little creepy. Although the ability is very foul, there are also some disadvantages. Ability users must meet each other, and because they eat the fruit of childishness, they will remain in their childhood. I'm very interested in Tongchu fruit, but the only one on our side who doesn't eat fruit is Shirahoshi. Little Shirahoshi, you can make up your own mind. Luo Ning will definitely get the childlike fruit. He plans to give it to Shirahoshi. Of course, this is his plan. As for whether to eat it or not, it depends on Shirahoshi himself. Luo Ning is still a little excited when he thinks that he might cultivate a legitimate lowly. Cough cough, it seems that something serious has been revealed. Shirahoshi is a mermaid, how can a mermaid eat devil fruit, and will always keep his appearance at this stage, so he won't grow up in the future, okay. Nami couldn't help but glared, Luo Ning. My words are fine, Luo Ning big brother has helped us a lot, if possible, I hope I can help Luo Ning big brother. Needless to say, the character of the little angel Shirahoshi is indeed very healing. Actually, apart from not being able to grow up, there are no other problems. A person with abilities is nothing more than that his skin cannot touch water. I can use my ability to cover Shirahoshi with a special layer of outer layer that isolates seawater, which is equivalent to being invisible to the naked eye. Quote. Luo Ning said that this is too simple for him. As for breathing in the sea, he can isolate the seawater, but not isolate the oxygen in the seawater. For him, this kind of thing only needs to pay a little bit of fantasy. Forget it, watch Shirahoshi's own. Nami is a bit helpless, but looking at Shirahoshi's cute appearance, it seems that it would be nice to have a little sister who will always be like this. Seeing several people discussing this matter, Robin couldn't help being a little amused. After getting along for a little longer, she has almost understood the characters of Nami and Luo Ning, which are actually not complicated, and she is now trying to gradually let go of her distrust and defense. But it will take some time, and the habits accumulated over the years are not so easy to let go. As for Cyrus, he was even more speechless. He didn't expect that Luo Ning was already planning to get the fruit, which seemed impossible to him. God knows if it will regenerate on some isolated island. After all, the world is too big, and there are not human beings everywhere. Several people were chatting here, and the news soon reached the ears of Doflamingo and others. This made Doflamingo, who was bringing people over, stop directly. There was a toy whistleblower, and one of them was missed. Go back and inform Granu, let her do it directly. Doflamingo is very cautious, and he also knows Luo Ning's character. Originally, he also went to see Luo Ning with a gamble mentality. After all, in his opinion, when Impel Down Luo Ning did not directly keep their Shichibukai, it proved that Lu Ning not absolutely jealous. Advertisement. Luo Ning may not have a good impression of this pirate and the like, but he won't be able to attack everyone. But now that there is a toy whistleblower, the consequences are hard to predict. So Doflamingo doesn't dare to gamble now, and can only let Granos do it directly. In this way, Doflamingo quickly returned to the castle, and the sugar that received the order had already come to the street. And I have already met Luo Ning and others, and now I am waiting to see her. Granu's appearance is very deceptive, but now there is a toy Cyrus beside Luo Ning and others. Others don't know Granu very well, but Cyrus knows it very well. So Granu also made some camouflage, and there was a flow of people around, which was prepared by Doflamingo to cover Granu. 
As for granulated sugar, it naturally moves with the flow of people. Ask for flowers. This flow of people is so strange, how can there be so many people suddenly? Not to mention Cyrus who has been living here, even Nami and others find it very strange. Ouch. At this moment, a little girl who turned her back to the crowd and hid herself in a red cloak seemed to be knocked down by the crowd, and she fell directly in front of Luo Ning. In fact, in this case, normal people will go to help. Seeing this little girl, Luo Ning couldn't help laughing. He naturally recognized that it was granulated sugar, which was considered free. One of his goals was granulated sugar, but she delivered it to her door herself. Ning also stretched out his hand directly. No, Master Luo Ning, be careful, don't touch her. Cyrus, words attracted the attention of several people, and at this moment Granu also heard Cyrus, words, but Luo Ning's hand was only a dozen centimeters away from her. Successful, Granu put his hand directly on Luo Ning's. Cyrus was a little confused when he saw this scene. A good savior is so useless. God knows how desperate he is at this moment, it feels like the sky is falling down. Wait, why didn't you become a toy? Soon, Granos's face changed, and when she touched her, she would turn into a toy the moment she activated her ability, and nothing else would happen, but now why Luo Ning didn't respond at all. Although I don't know if your ability is useful to me, but just in case, I have attached a layer of protection that is invisible to the naked eye and clings to my body. So you didn't touch my body, but my protective layer. Da Flamingo is very brave, I sent you out before I directly troubled him. Luo Ning grabbed Granu's hand and said with a smile, he is not a reckless man. Luo Ning was fully prepared. After all, these ability users are really hard to guard against. If Luo Ning hadn't known about Granu's situation in advance and knew this ability, maybe it would be really possible for him to get away with it. Chapter 107 Violet Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription Close Black Lens Bracket Violet, how's the situation? Da Flamingo looked at Violet next to him and asked, after the sugar was dispatched, he asked Violet to stare at him. Violet is a paramesha staring fruit capable person, and is also one of Luo Ning's targets this time. Violet's staring fruit can peep into people's inner thoughts, Luo Ning plans to take her to impel down to be an examiner. In addition to prying into the heart, Violet also has the ability of clairvoyance. The most outrageous thing is that her ability can peep into things within a radius of 4,000 kilometers, which is simply outrageous to the extreme. This is also the reason why King Liku was not killed in the first place, it was because Brother Ming took a fancy to her ability. Failed, failed, got caught. Violet stammered a bit, and Brother Ming had an inconceivable expression on his face when he heard this. Why did it fail? Is it because of that toy? At this moment, the only reason for failure that Brother Ming could think of was this. It doesn't seem to be the case. The two parties have already contacted, but nothing happened. Violet was also a little dazed, but in the next second, she saw that the sugar was directly knocked out by Luo Ning with an unknown method. The moment Granos passed out, the entire De Reese Rosa began to emit a lot of light, and with these lights, a lot of toys began to turn into humans. The port, the underground port, the city, and at this moment everyone's memories have been restored, including Violet who also remembered that she still has a brother-in-law. This series of events plunged the entire De Reese Rosa into chaos. Damn it, Granos has passed out, and the family's business for so many years has been in vain. Diamante's face is ugly, but it's not just him, everyone else is also like this. Dover, what shall we do now? Torebel also looked at Brother Ming, and now the situation has reached the most unfavorable time, and the situation is over. Prepare to work hard. Even if I destroy everything about me, I won't make him feel better. If he is not his opponent, then target the people around him. If you can capture one, that would be great. Brother Ming's face was ashen at the moment, but at this moment he said something that shocked everyone. Dover, although we have lost everything here, we can continue to survive in another place. Why should we confront him head on? We shouldn't do this even for the sake of sugar. Diamante couldn't understand it. Although Da Flamingo usually attached great importance to their family members, he would never bury everything because of Granu. How else? Escape. Can we escape? Who do you think the other party is? The other party is an existence that suppresses the combat power of the entire naval headquarters alone. His strength. When I saw it at the beginning, I feel terrified now. 11. Even if you want to run now, it's too late. Da Flamingo really can't think of any way to escape, the surrounding is the sea, he must use a boat to escape, whether it is an underground port or outside, it will take time, this time is enough for Luo Ning to find them and kill them. In short, it is almost a dead end now. Since it is a dead end no matter what, then Luo Shou will pay a price if he directly strikes. Advertisement. Although none of them are Luo Ning's opponents, it doesn't mean that the few around Luo Ning can also resist their attacks. Moreover, they have many abilities, such as Paika who can sneak under the ground, catch the opponent alone, and force Luo Ning to submit. After hearing Brother Ming's words, the others were silent. Indeed, there is no other choice now. But they don't know that now their plans are in Luo Ning's ears, and don't forget, there is still Violet here, and Violet is not of one mind with Brother Ming and the others. At this moment, she also has some small thoughts of her own. Very good plan, but why do you think I will let you arrange these plans safely? At this time, Luo Ning appeared in the hall. With such a short distance, he came here in the blink of an eye, so his arrival at this moment directly made Brother Ming confused again. It's really a monster-like existence, and it really came fast enough. Brother Ming and the others had cold sweat on their faces. 
They had just finished discussing with them on the front foot, and they arrived on the back foot. This, how is this possible? You were still playing like this just now. Hearing Luo Ning's words, Violet was taken aback for a moment, but quickly realized that Luo Ning's identity was known to Cyrus, and she naturally knew it too. But before he could say anything, suddenly his hand twisted like a spring. No matter how crazy you are, you will be a little frightened in the face of such absolute power. I promise you, please clean up the Don Quixote family. Violet also felt a little scalp tingling at the moment, just now she saw the other party on the street outside, it will take some time to get here. Luo Ning didn't talk to Brother Ming and the others, but looked at Violet. Violet, right, speaking of which, one of my goals this time is you, becoming my subordinate. Impel Down needs talents like you. As a reward, I will support King Liku back to the throne and protect you all. De Rees Rosa. At some point, Luo Ning had already arrived in front of Brother Ming, and directly grabbed Brother Ming's hand. At this moment, Brother Ming was shocked when he saw Luo Ning who was facing him. As a result, the blink of an I Kung Fu man came here. Hearing Violet's words, Da Flamingo's forehead burst out with blue veins, although he always knew that the other party would not be very loyal to him, but now this face-to-face -face betrayal really made him a little uncomfortable. It is naturally the best for Luo Ning to recruit himself. Violet replied the moment she came to her senses. She was not a fool, so she naturally knew that agreeing to this kind of request was the best choice. Injure my subordinates in front of me, Da Flamingo, how much do you underestimate me? While gritting his teeth and saying the name, Brother Ming also made a move directly, five colored threads appeared in his hand, and grabbed Violet with one claw 1.1. Violets. The moment Luo Ning touched his body, he had injected the power of fantasy into it. At this moment, he fantasized that Brother Ming's arm had the function of a spring, and the spring was naturally twisted. But Brother Ming's body was still made of flesh and blood, so it was directly twisted into the shape of a spring at this moment, but his arm was also directly crippled. Chapter 108 The Perfect Tool Man Baby 5 Open Black Lens Bracket Subscribe Close Black Lens Bracket Damn it, what did you do to me? I have to say that my brother is indeed very stubborn, even though his arms are all twisted, he still didn't scream out, but it must be very painful, the veins are bulging, the cold sweat is flowing, he is half kneeling on the ground, and he stutters when he speaks. Can you stop saying such misleading words? I believe you know my information. This is not the first time I have done this, strictly speaking, it is the third time. For the first time, I made the ghost spider's bones as brittle as biscuits, causing almost all his bones to shatter. The second time I used it on one of Clockadar's minions, I turned his blade-like body into ooze. The third time is you. I changed your arm into the nature of a spring. You know what a spring looks like, but your body is still flesh and blood in essence, so it naturally becomes like this. When we fought with me before, Garp Sengoku didn't even dare to touch me. They always use the armed color 21 to attack. What do you think is the reason? Luo Ning said with a smile, although the expression on his face is a smile, but this smile is really creepy. After all, everyone would be afraid to do such a horrible thing with a hippie smile, okay. By the way, there is one more thing that I almost forgot, Baby 5, I need your help here, do you want to come over to my side? Luo Ning glanced at the people behind Brother Ming, and suddenly saw another target of his own. Baby 5 is definitely the best strategist in the entire pirate world. You can get it done with one sentence. Of course, the premise is that you can deal with Brother Ming. You know, many people have used this trick before. But what was the result? Before he had any action, he was directly wiped out by Brother Ming. This is an old tragedy. The girl is indeed a good strategy, but this obstacle is a bit difficult to clear. Even Baby 5 himself has a bit of hatred for Brother Ming in this aspect, which is a bit too weird. Later, with Lao Kai, it became a combination of beauty and the beast. Really, do you need me? Because of this sentence, Baby 5 looked at Luo Ning with bright eyes, and came over without hesitation. Baby 5, seeing this scene, everyone gritted their teeth a little bit. Although they knew the character of Baby 5, it would be too much to surrender to the enemy face to face. That's right, I'm short of a maid here, and it's just right for you to come. Luo Ning nodded, and then Baby 5 just followed Luo Ning. The occurrence of this scene is actually not surprising to anyone here, even Violet. She really knows the character of Baby 5 too well, but she never expected that this method would be useful at this juncture. But Violet wasn't envious either, after all, the prerequisite for the baby to follow her was to defeat Brother Ming and the others, and she hadn't seen those idiots who were directly dealt with by Brother Ming in recent years. So that in the end, no one dared to look for Baby 5 at all, and they were all scared of being killed by Brother Ming. She can also directly instigate Baby 5, but the final result is that she will be disposed of by Brother Ming. If she doesn't have this strength, don't go to death. As far as Luo Ning is concerned, Brother Ming and others are not the slightest threat, so Lu Ning is not there at all. Okay, now that my goal has been achieved, I can send you on your way, goodbye. Advertisement. Luo Ning didn't intend to throw Brother Ming to impel down, and just killed them. As for the devil fruit of these people, Luo Ning really didn't like it, that is, he valued the sugar most. In the blink of an eye, Brother Ming and his group died directly, and Luo Ning also gained some freedom points, but compared to what he gained in the previous battle, this freedom point is really too little. The shadow that hangs over this country has been cleared up so easily. Violet felt very unreal. You know, this is Doflamingo, an existence that she has been unable to deal with no matter how hard she tries. 
It's not that she didn't want to overthrow Brother Ming, but she couldn't do it, and with Da Flamingo's Shichibukai status, there was absolutely no way to overthrow Brother Mingo. Now this existence is like a mountain, it just disappears, it just disappears in such a simple way. According to the agreement, I helped you get rid of them. As for King Liku, he is also in this country, and your niece Rebecca is also here. Afterwards, they will come to you by themselves. I will contact Morgans to directly expose the matter of Doris Rosa, and explain that Doris Rosa is blessed by Impel Down. As for you, I will give you a few days to reunite, and then go to Impel Down to report. You have only one job, and that is to use your ability to read the minds of the prisoners sent to Impel Down to make sure they are indeed criminals. If they are innocent, just let them go. After Luo Ning finished speaking, Violet also nodded quickly. With such a thick thigh, if she didn't hug her thigh, she would not let herself go. He has also read the Devil Fruit Illustrated book, this fruit is a zone fruit, and it is not a good fruit. Luo Ning began to fantasize about fruits, and a large number of fruits began to pile up. In the entire underground trading place, the gaps in the stage were directly filled with various fruits. After all, such things as self-healing ability can be imagined by Luo Ning casually. Just like that, Da Flamingo and the others were finished, and Luo Ning also brought everyone to the underground exchange, where there are a lot of arms resources. At this moment, there is no one in the underground exchange. The people on Brother Ming's side of 960 have been cleaned up by Violet and others, and the rest have left, so now the place is empty. Although there is a healing ability user in the small human race, Man Shuili, but to be honest, her ability is of no use to Luo Ning. Let's start. Man Shuili's ability is indeed of great use to the people of One Piece world, but not to Luo Ning. Forget it, let's treat it as a windfall, although it's useless. Luo Ning collected the fruit. King Liku also stood up to maintain order. Luo Ning looked at the fruit in his hand a little speechlessly. Under the huge base, the childlike fruit was indeed generated beside Luo Ning. In addition, Luo Ning also discovered another fruit. The cadres on Da Flamingo's side were wiped out, and Violet and the others naturally quickly stabilized the situation. Is it such a coincidence? This is because the capable person was killed, and it happened to regenerate in this pile of fruits. At this time, Luo Ning killed the sugar directly. At this moment, there are only Luo Ning and Granu, and the little people have been settled. A lot of arms and weapons flow out from here. Brother Ming has a high status among the underground forces, but now he is also finished. Thanks to the old monk for believing in God's monthly ticket. Chapter 109 Shirahoshi, the new childlike fruit ability open black lens bracket subscription close black lens bracket. Do you really want to eat Shirahoshi? You won't grow up after eating it. Looking at the fruit Luo Ning brought back, Nami and others looked at Shirahoshi and asked. Certainly, since he had promised before, Shirahoshi ate it without hesitation. Violet and the others also saw this scene, and they also found it incredible. They don't know how Luo Ning got this fruit. You must know that this fruit is from granulated sugar. Luo Ning actually has the ability to recondense the fruit, which is simply outrageous. If people in the sea have this ability, who would dare to eat the powerful devil fruit? I am afraid that they would not dare to use it, otherwise they would be beaten to death and the fruit would be taken away. It's so unpalatable. After Shirahoshi took a bite, he showed a painful expression. The people here, Nami, Robin, Violet, including Baby Five, all showed understandable expressions. After all, they are all people who have eaten devil fruit. They all know how unpalatable this thing is. After taking a bite, the ability has already entered Shirahoshi's body, and Luo Ning also formed a protective layer on Shirahoshi's body surface, so that Kuxing has no effect in the sea. The others, Luo Ning, did not do this, it was completely unnecessary, and Luo Ning would not distract his imagination too much. The abilities of other people are also different from Shirahoshi. Others have the ability to protect themselves. As for Shirahoshi, only those who are touched by her will be affected by the ability. Shirahoshi won't grow up in the future, but we seem to have more and more strange abilities here. Nami suddenly remembered that among the people brought by Zephyr, there was also a very heaven-defying existence. You mean Ain, right? Ain's ability is really outrageous. Luo Ning also nodded. Ai Yin's ability is also quite special, being touched by her makes her age go back 10 years, this kind of ability is really enviable, you know, many people will grow old. Women are very concerned about getting old, and Ain's ability can turn people back 10 years, and can do it many times. Of course, at this stage, Ai Yin's ability can only be set back by 10 years, and in the original book, Ai Yin can be set back by 12 years, which means that Ai Yin has improved this ability a little in the past few years. In fact, how to use the fruit ability depends on the holder. For a powerful holder, trash fruits can also complete god-level fruits. Of course, there are some relatively perverted fruits in the sea, such as Mrs. Shi's ability, which came to this era directly from 800 years ago, and then sent Momonosuke and his party to 20 years later. But to be honest, if Luo Ning finds Momonosuke, he will be finished, and Luo Ning will definitely clean up this guy. Of course, if it wasn't for my current age, I would have wanted Ain to reverse my age, but if I reversed now, I would be only a few years old. Nami said that at this stage, it would be boring to go back and become a child younger than Shirahoshi. If I go back, it seems that I am about the same age as Nami now, but this kind of ability has some disadvantages. Robin also spoke, 
She naturally values this ability very much, or even a woman would value it very much, but this ability has a lot of disadvantages, just like sugar, once the ability user directly faints, then other people will naturally die in the end. It is restored. Advertisement. So it is not permanent. Of course, you can try it in the future, after all, no one likes to watch themselves grow old. In the next few days, everyone stayed on Doris Rose's side, and King Liku became the king again. After all, he directly withdrew from the member countries of the world government. Anyway, now there is impel down as a reliance. The world government is not credible, King Liku knows this very well, without a backer, they have no choice, but with a backer, they don't need to worry about so much. The country gradually settled down, and Rebecca became a princess, although it was very uncomfortable for her. Now that Rebecca is the same age as Shirahoshi, the two have become good playmates. But I have to say that Rebecca in the original book is indeed very strange, why does she have to wear that kind of combat uniform? Thinking about it is also drunk. Although it is indeed very seductive. After Doflamingo was defeated, although it didn't shake the whole sea, Mingo's influence was not small. The character design of this guy at the beginning felt like a tough guy, but in the end, the image completely collapsed, and he was completely a despicable villain. Joker. Why is it? It's really too weak. Too weak, and he died because of his weakness. Ant really yearns for the Titans to the extreme. After all, she was adopted by the Titans back then. As a result, because of the Titans' nonsense long-term hunger strikes, Ant went straight to court. So Guy Saw was also dealt with directly by him, and the news was announced. Brother Ming has a lot of contact with Kaido, Guy slapped that guy, Luo Ning sent his clone to deal with it, and it's not worth any 10 points to attack children. The previous character set was a tough guy who wanted to commit suicide and couldn't die. Ghost Island, Kaido is going crazy. Although man-made devil fruit is still under research at this period, Brother Ming has provided his pirates with a lot of weapons and materials. Gaisa was killed, affecting two four emperors in a row. Because the ammunition chain was directly broken, the battle situation of some forces changed instantly. This kind of coming to Luo Ning will never let it go. But there is nothing to say about this, after all, this is a festival that belongs to the Titans themselves, since the ant lives there, she naturally has to follow their rules. It's just that the people of the Titan race are really tough, and the ant is not a Titan race. Although the body is also very huge, this kind of thing must vary from person to person. Big Mom has always wanted to restore the relationship with the Titans, and on the one hand, she is also eager to develop giant medicines, so that even if she can't win over the Titans, she can make Titans herself. Knowing this, Kaido and Ant were upset. After all, of the two, one was hoping that Brother Ming could actually develop artificial devil fruit, and the other was hoping that guy could make humans gigantic. Of course, in fact, many people can do this kind of thing by unscrupulous means, but the problem lies in Kaido's previous personality. Guy's gigantic experiment made those children miserable, and God knows how many people died. Kaido also has a cooperative relationship with Brother Ming, and now that Brother Ming is gone, Kaido naturally feels uncomfortable. This guy, Guy, uses this method to get money Zhao to continuously cheat the ant's funds, that is, the ant who is so stupid will be cheated by this guy. Chapter 110 Ants Questioning Again Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription Close Black Lens Bracket Because of the previous shaping, Kaido's image has become very tough. After arriving at Wanokuni, he found that Kaido turned out to be a despicable villain, and with Kaido's setting, Marine can't kill him after taking him down. This setting is even more nonsense. Undoubtedly, Kaido's skin defense is indeed very strong, but it also depends on who executes the execution. Because of Kaido's character design and the number of times he was arrested, there was no way to kill Kaido every time he was caught, so many people speculated that Kaido had a terrifying self-healing ability. Otherwise it cannot be explained why he was not killed. You know, although the world government needs pirates to stabilize the situation, after Ace is captured in the original book, Sengoku has to use Ace to launch a war, thus destroying Whitebeard. Kaido was caught, would he let Kaido leave alive? After being caught so many times, he didn't kill him. It turned out that this guy turned out to be a Yu Yu Fruit capable person, and he could also transform into a dragon, and he didn't have any super self-healing ability, it was just a strong defense, and it was even broken by Momonosuke, which is simply outrageous. Marine is really so garbage that even Kaido can't deal with it. Then you can just resign and go home to 760 farming land. Don't be a Marine, shame on you. I think that the previous character design, the later setting is in stark contrast with the previous character design, and Kaido's true character is not accepted by people. Moreover, the original character design collapsed, and it was forced to make up later, which resulted in huge problems in the character design of people like Wanokuni. That's fine with Kaido, and so is Kazuki Odin. Kazuki Odin even robs people's things on the street without giving them money. This behavior is outrageous to the extreme. Moreover, a series of brain-dead operations brought the whole Wanokuni into this situation. He is not an opponent, so you should ask for help anyway. There are many people willing to help him in the sea, and it turned out to be like that. Coupled with Momonosuke's disgusting character, Wanokuni has become all kinds of weird, and a personal setting is unacceptable. Kaido's side is drinking crazy, and Auntie's side is not much better. They didn't dare to trouble Luo Ning, so Kaido could only drink to relieve boredom. As for the aunt, she asked about the previous matter because of this matter. Katakori, have you delivered the invitation to the tea party I asked you to prepare? 
Because Luo Ning reappeared, and this time it was about Guy Caesar, and he remembered the invitation to the tea party again, which shocked everyone. You know, they have been procrastinating before, and with the matter of celestial dragons, and he temporarily forgot about it, but now Andy remembered it again. This makes it difficult for them. Mom, Luo Ning is the highest controller of Impel Down, and he doesn't like pirates at all. We are a pirate group, so there is no way to send the invitation over. Katakori could only bite the bullet and explain, while the others looked at Katakori with some horror, that is, Katakori dared to explain this to his aunt, and if it was replaced by other insignificant children, it would probably be over bar. The aunt's positioning of her children is always just a tool. In the original book, because of the outbreak of cravings, she went berserk and killed one of her sons. Although she killed it when she was mad, she didn't care at all after she recovered, as if what she killed was just an insignificant little guy. It can only be said that a person like Aunt is really inhuman. Of course, this may also be due to the influence of nuns. Although Auntie suffered from food cravings when she was a child, her nature is not very bad, on the contrary, she is kind. Advertisement. There are two theories about Dama's later stage. One is that Dama was damaged by the long bread. One is that after the ant ate the nun, the nun's soul did not disappear, but tried to capture the body of the ant, but because the monster like the big Sebek, mom was too strong, the nun could not completely capture the soul of the ant. The nun itself is not a good thing, so the character behind the ant has changed drastically. The latter conjecture is actually more correct. Because of the existence of Prometheus, Prometheus is not a special life created by the ant, but a nun. If the previous ability user died, even if it was only a momentary ability transfer, Prometheus should not continue to exist, but it still existed in the end. Of course, it is also possible that Prometheus was recreated by the later ant, but the previous one was indeed created by the nuns. Facing the ant, everyone was very frightened, for fear that if they were not paying attention, they would be killed by the ant. That means you didn't sit down properly for what I asked you to do, right? The ant's expression became extremely gloomy, and this appearance made the others sweat. Yes, yes, mother. Even a tough guy like Katakori would be afraid when facing Big Mom. I don't want to hear such an answer. You are my strongest son and my pride. Don't let me down too much. This is the last time. If there is a next time, you know the consequences. Facing her most outstanding son, the ant chose to tolerate it once, but it was only this time. I, I see, mom. Katakori's face was very ugly. At this moment, he had a headache. Luo Ning, who was terrifying before, became even more terrifying after this incident. Katakori was really afraid that if he didn't pay attention, he would be killed by the other party. That's good. After leaving a word, the ant left. Katakori big brother, what should we do now? This is the last chance, if we don't do it this time, the consequences will be very serious. A group of people looked at Katakori, now there is no other choice. Leave this matter to me. Although the other party is unlikely to agree to us, you'd better be prepared. In case the other party takes a fancy to one of you, you should pay attention to it afterwards. Katakori shook his head and left. He chose to go by himself, but he could send other people to go. But by doing so, other people may anger Luo Ning, and even be killed by Luo Ning. He didn't want his brothers and sisters to die in front of him, so he chose to go by himself. Even if he was going to die, he would be the first to die. I have to say that Katakori really has nothing to say to his brothers and sisters, and he is indeed a very qualified senior. As for those words, I naturally said them to my younger sisters who are not yet married. After all, there is always a contingency in everything, isn't it? Chapter 111. The arrival of face fruit capable open black lens bracket subscription close black lens bracket. The country has finally returned to peace, thank you for your help, Lord Luo Ning. Although he has become the king again, King Liku also knows that his position as the king is nothing in this world. The king is worthless in the world of pirates, and he is deterred by some powerful forces. To put it bluntly, without strength, everything is useless. This is what King Liku has learned. If he had the strength back then, how could he have allowed Brother Ming to take Doris Rosa away? In the end, he still needed the help of his daughter to survive. It can only be said that they are too weak in the face of the strong, in the sea. But fortunately, I hug Luo Ning's thigh now, not to mention that I will be safe in the future, but, it is much better than before. At this moment, King Liku glanced at his daughter with some guilt. After all, the solution to the matter this time still depended on the ability of his daughter Violet. It doesn't have to be like this. It's just a kind of cooperation between us. Violet has already paid enough. Luo Ning shook his head, and after that King Liku didn't talk about this topic anymore, this time he invited Luo Ning to the palace for dinner after he stabilized, although the taste didn't quite meet Luo Ning's appetite, but at least the taste was good. But while eating, something happened. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, the ship of the four emperors red-haired shanks appeared at the port. While everyone was eating, a former soldier of Doris Rosa ran in quickly. Four emperors redhead shanks, hearing this name, Akoku stood up. He couldn't help it, he was confused now, he couldn't understand why shanks came to his place. At this moment, he can only think of Brother Ming, after all, they are all pirates, who knows if they are here to seek revenge. Thinking of this, King Liku looked directly at Luo Ning. Don't worry, the redhead probably didn't come here to find fault. His target should be me. He has nothing to do with Brother Ming, but I'm also quite curious about what he's doing here. Let someone bring them here. 
Seeing King Liku's eyes asking for help, Luo Ning also explained a little bit. He didn't know the specific purpose of Shanks, but he must have come for him, otherwise it would be impossible to explain why Shanks appeared here. It has nothing to do with Shanks here. The soldier who got the order glanced at King Liku, and he didn't go out until King Liku nodded. Soon, a group of people came to the main hall under the leadership of soldiers, and the leader was Shanks who had broken an arm. His Majesty King Liku, Mr. Luo Ning, how are you? Not much to say, Shanks is indeed the most unassuming of the four emperors, and Whitebeard and Kaido would not be so polite. Mr. Shanks, I wonder why you came to Darice Rosa. King Liku asked, after all, this country belongs to him. Although he knew that there was a high probability that he was coming for Luo Ning, he had to do his duty as a king. I don't have any malicious intentions. I came to Darice Rosa this time just to discuss something with Mr. Luo Ning. Advertisement. Shanks smiled and said, he also knows that this country is now in a very sensitive period, there is no way, who said he is also a pirate. Tomorrow, this pirate has already made a mess of this country. It can be said that as long as you are a normal person, pirates are not welcome, no matter whether you are good or bad, since you have come out under the banner of pirates, then what good things do you expect from you? Although what Luffy does is no different from that of an adventurer, he is also playing the banner of a pirate. For this one, he should be targeted. If a normal person does not do anything, he will become a thief. Who will others target if he is not targeted? In Luffy's philosophy, pirates are equal to adventurers, and the two cannot be linked at all, but with Luffy's single-minded mind, even if he explains it hundreds of times in front of him, he still can't understand it. Is there anything you can say directly here? At this time, Luo Ning also spoke. He didn't think that there was anything Shanks said that could not be said in front of the people here, and he didn't intend to have a shameful chat with Shanks alone. He doesn't have much affection for Shanks, who, to put it bluntly, is a guy who likes to meddle and has double standards. When other people are doing things, he will try to persuade them to fight and act as a shit stick. When Luffy is doing things, his so-called balance theory will be directly fed to the dogs. Asking for flowers. He was just paving the way for Luffy, and Luo Ning naturally didn't like such a shit-stirring stick. I think we still need to talk individually. After all, some things are more sensitive. Shanks said helplessly. If you want to say it, you can say it here, if you don't, you can invite it back. Luo Ning didn't give any face at all, and he didn't need to give Shanks any face. In front of him, Shanks, the four emperors, was nothing. In One Piece world, Admiral is at the same level as four emperors. Perhaps it is more difficult for one admiral to overthrow one four emperors, but no one can single-handedly resist two admirals. Zero. What about Luo Ning? He can fight against the entire naval headquarters by himself, and the four emperors are in front of him, but there is nothing special about him. In a single four emperors force, there is only one person who can compete with admiral, and that is four emperors themselves. As for the other cadres, they may be able to deal with it for a while, or even injure each other, but they will definitely not be able to defeat admiral. To put it bluntly, Luo Ning is now facing an admiral, two or three people who are comparable to admiral substitutes and a group of naval headquarters vice-admirals. Such a lineup is really not enough for him. Summit War, Aokiji Kazaru Sengoku, etc. In the case of not releasing water, there is a price to pay. Shanks has to stay there with his family or fail miserably. Luo Ning's shameless behavior made the expressions on the faces of the group of people behind Shanks freeze. Shanks has already given enough face, but others don't give face. You make your own decision, either say it here, or you can invite it back. Of course, if you want to fight, I don't mind fighting with you. Luo Ning didn't care, these people couldn't make any waves in front of him. Forget it, let's talk about it here. I would like to ask Mr. Luo Ning not to break the new world's pattern too much. After all, the sea is now in a stable trend. Once a huge loophole suddenly appears on any side, the balance will be broken. The sea will fall into another chaos. Shanks can only speak his mind. Chapter 112 The Great Mother Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription Close Black Lens Bracket Luo Ning had been thinking about the purpose of Shanks coming here before, and he also had some guesses, and now, just as he guessed, Shanks came to persuade the fight. The translation of the meaning inside and outside the words is, you don't want to do anything on the New World side, and don't attack the four emperors, otherwise once the four emperors are killed, the balance will be broken, and then the sea will fall into chaos again. The main reason is that Luo Ning slaughtered the watchdog of New World, Brother Ming, as soon as he entered New World. When Brother Ming was arrested in the original book, he said that he was the one who held the reins and controlled the shackles of the four emperors, but to put it bluntly, Brother Ming was putting gold on his face, and he was nothing more than a watchdog of the new world. At least that's how it looked in the eyes of the four emperors. This is a bit interesting. What does it mean that the sea has become chaotic? Do I need to get your approval for what I am doing? Isn't it something that the captain before you did? How many people do you think died indirectly at Roger's hands from the beginning of the era of great pirates to the present? Luo Ning was a little amused, did this guy really think of himself as the messenger of He Heping? He came here specifically to say this to him. Although it is true that the captain created the era of the great pirate, I believe he will have his own reasons. Shanks was silent for a while, and then spoke again. To Roger, Shanks must have great admiration, and he didn't want to hear anyone say Roger's bad, after all, he was carrying out Roger's will from the beginning to the end. Even willing to sacrifice an arm, but also to pull Luffy into the ranks of pirates. Sorry, tell the people who died because of him, you know. 
Even Roger's son doesn't want to see him. Luo Ning dropped a blockbuster that shocked everyone present. What? The Captain, Roger, One Piece, has a son. The names that came out of different people's mouths were completely different, and a group of people expressed shock at the news that Luo Ning said. Impossible. Why did the captain have a son, and didn't let us know about it? Furthermore, in the massacre of pregnant women in Marine, all the people who might be the captain's child were killed. It is impossible for the captain to leave a child. It is good. Shanks was shocked. It was true that Roger might have children back then, but Marine did a very good job and killed all the people who might be Roger's children and wives. That extinction also made Luo Ning feel that it was extremely nonsense, it was outrageous, and the pirate world couldn't inherit things like memories. It's nothing more than the child of a prisoner. As Roger's son, Ace has no guilt. To put it bluntly, what does the b asterisk 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 d thing he lousy did have anything to do with him, a child who doesn't know anything? This is not the same person, and Ace is not Roger's reincarnation. Although Marine is carrying out orders and orders from the world government, this approach is disgusting to the extreme. This is thanks to his wife. Compared to Roger, a crazy guy, Rouge is undoubtedly a very great mother. It's a pity that he found the wrong person and found Roger. After Roger died, Marine strictly controlled those pregnant women and babies, and killed all the children who were suitable for Roger's children, and the same was true for those pregnant women. This massacre lasted for ten months. The ten months since Roger was imprisoned, it can be described as horrific, and Rouge, by her own will, kept the child in her body for twenty months. Advertisement. I escaped the massacre in Marine perfectly. Although the child was born, I died as well. This mother is very worthy of respect, at least I only spit on Roger, but I respect this mother. In fact, before Luo Ning crossed over, there was another saying, some internet sages thought that Rouge at that time should stand up and admit his identity, and after Rouge died, others could survive. In fact, this kind of thinking is very nonsense. First of all, Rouge did not commit any crimes. The so-called crimes were only deducted by the world government, so she has no reason to stand up. Secondly, Rouge was pregnant with a child, and several mothers would choose to die with their children, which is simply impossible. Does Rouge care about her own life? No, she only cares about her children, so even if she dies in the end, she must ensure the safety of her children. Roger's fault, Marine and world government's fault, should not be borne by mother and unborn child. Finally, there is one more point, even if Rouge stepped forward, would Marine believe it? From Marine's point of view, it might be Roger's hidden hand. I found a pregnant woman to use certain methods to push the other party to the foreground, so that he could guarantee his own child. So even if Rouge stood up, it would not be of much use. Those who should be killed would still be killed. So that's the case. It's really great news, so who is her child? Shanks wants to ask who Roger's son is, and the entire Roger pirate group has no one who knows about it. In fact, Roger's approach is also very smart, knowing that Marine will stare at his crew, if a pregnant woman or a baby suddenly appears beside his crew, then undoubtedly. Marine will definitely find a way to get rid of this child. So I handed it over to Garp. Garp, as a Marine with a sense of justice, coupled with his friendship with Roger, will indeed help Roger. Roger's little calculation is quite good. Why should I tell you? Luo Ning asked a little funny, and ended the topic very simply. He didn't say anything, and it made writing Shanks 0.3 very painful, but there was no way to change it. It is estimated that Shanks has already made a move, relying on force to suppress the other party. Let the other person speak up. But this person is Luo Ning, so this road was directly blocked, and he had no choice but to do anything. It can be described as a complete silence here at the moment, and the sound of a needle falling on the ground may be heard. Forget it, it's actually a good thing not to know, at least it can guarantee the safety of the child, then please think about my proposal just now, Mr. Luo Ning, this sea can't stand the toss anymore. Shanks returned to the previous topic. He still wanted to persuade Luo Ning to let Luo Ning stop doing things with New World. After all, Luo Ning had killed the watchdog now, and the next movement may become bigger and bigger. Chapter 113 Is it a tradition to abandon wives and children? Open black lens bracket subscribe close black lens bracket. Can't stand the trouble, you plan to keep it for Roger's successor, after all, if you want to grow up, you have to experience a lot. If the sea is messed up by me, the successor you bet your arm on there's no need to play, right? Luo Ning smiled and said something that stunned all the members of Red Hair Pirates. Why do you know about this? Shanks was confused, he did have such a plan, so Shanks in the original book has been maintaining the stability of the sea, but when Luffy was doing things, he didn't see Shanks' shadow. In short, other people's doing things is to break the balance, and Luffy is not right, this is all about creating a more suitable environment for Luffy to grow up. But about Luffy, except for the Red Hair Pirates, no one else should know about it. Shanks couldn't understand why Luo Ning knew about Luffy and also knew that Luffy was his chosen successor to Roger. Roger's successor. The faces of the others changed again at this moment, as if they had heard a very important secret. First, Roger, the One Piece King, left behind a child, which was shocking to the world, and now Shanks found a successor to Roger. 21. In short, it is not a small matter, and even this matter is simply too big. Both King Liku and Cyrus couldn't help wiping off a cold sweat. After they knew such a secret, they wouldn't be silenced. It's really too big and important, and there is indeed a possibility of being silenced. If you want others to be unaware, you have to do nothing about it. Also, you guys can't tell me what I do. 
Instead of caring about others, it's better to take care of your own people. Speaking of which, is it true that you abandoned your wives and children in the same line? Roger also abandoned his wife back then. You also have such a thing on your boat. Seeing it makes you feel bad luck. Luo Ning didn't give any face, and incidentally gave Usopp a meal. At this moment, almost everyone in Red Hair Pirates looked at Usopp, abandoning his wife and son, isn't this the one he's talking about? And Usopp's face was flushed at this moment, he was ashamed, but he was still powerless to refute, because he had indeed done such a thing. Speaking of which, I also admire it. It's not like you haven't returned to East Blue back then, and in your name, he can take his wife and children to live in New World. But even after returning to East Blue many times, the guy who abandoned his wife and son never went home to see it once. I didn't even know that when my wife finally died, she was still defending some scum who abandoned his wife. Luo Ning kept mocking, he just didn't like Usopp, could it be that the power of red hair pirates couldn't protect Yuichi's mother and child? When Usopp was called by Shanks, he left his family and left without saying a word. It was a scumbag behavior. And when Shanks and others went to Windmill Village, Usopp never went back. I didn't meet Usopp until after Usopp arrived at the Grand Line, but he hardly talked about his wife's problem after seeing him. Advertisement. This kind of person can basically be called a scumbag. Luo Ning said that he is also quite philandering, but at least he will take responsibility, but what about Usopp? Abandoning his wife's trash. Forget it, since we have nothing to talk about, let's leave first. Shanks is also a little uncomfortable. Although he is not being scolded, it is really troublesome to have such a guy under his hands. It is also uncomfortable to see his brother being scolded. But how good would it be to be a brother with such a guy who likes to abandon his wife and children? Everyone on the red-haired boat basically knew about Usopp. After all, Usopp had said more than once that he had a son, but he had never seen it, so he just left his wife and son aside. Hey, hey, you guys don't plan to just leave, do you come here and tell me a lot of truths, and you plan to leave like this? Luo Ning said a little funny ly that he didn't intend to let these guys go, of course, he didn't want to arrest them. In fact, among the four emperors, there were only two that Luo Ning really planned to do, one was Kaido and the other was Big Mom. These two guys can be called crazy. As for Shanks, Luo Ning hates this guy, but I have to say that this guy is a bit bottom line. Although Roger is also insane, but there were rules on the ship back then, Shanks got off his ship, so at least he won't do things like burning, killing and looting like Big Mom Kaido. If you hate it, you hate it, and Luo Ning will not throw the other party into the big prison just because you hate the other party. The two things that really should go to the big prison are Big Mom and Kaido. As for blocking Shanks now, it is entirely because Shanks is a large experience package, and it is a door-to-door -door experience package. Luo Ning naturally has no reason to let him go. After all, he came here, except to find someone, the rest is to gain experience. Up. Although he is already very strong now, no one will despise himself for being stronger. Are you going to take us all to the big prison? Shanks had already put his hand on the handle of the knife. At this moment, he regretted coming to Luo Ning. It was fine if Luo Ning didn't give him face, and even taunted them, and told two super big secrets by the way. 977. Now that they want to leave, they are stopped by the other party. Is this to invite them to the deep sea prison to receive free housing? No, no, don't get me wrong, if it were Andy and Kaido, I would not hesitate to invite them to impel down for free food and drink, but you guys forget it, at least you have a bottom line, although you are a pirate, you haven't done much. Thieves do. Whitebeard is about the same as you, but those guys under Whitebeard are different. Compared with you, you are a loner. Luo Ning's words also let Shanks breathe a sigh of relief. Indeed, they did not do anything that pirates often do. As for Whitebeard, Whitebeard is completely different. Maybe Whitebeard can't do much of this kind of thing by himself, but he has too many people under him. With so many people, the usual extravagant expenses may not be enough for simple protection fees. Some of Whitebeard's fleets have indeed done what pirates should do, but Whitebeard doesn't care about these, all he cares about is his own children. What should be caught, Luo Ning will also do it. As for whether Whitebeard will go after him desperately, he will come, who is afraid of whom. Of course, when Luo Ning returned to the Holy Land, he also planned to go there. He was busy fighting with Marine the previous time, so he didn't do anything else. He also planned to go to the Holy Land to release the slaves, and then catch a batch of celestial dragons. Chapter 114 Rolling Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription Close Black Lens Bracket I stopped you just to fight with us, it's as simple as that, just treat it as a fight that won't hurt your life. What Luo Ning said reassured Shanks at last, the big deal would be to fight with him and get beaten up. Since this is the case, I happen to be very curious about Mr. Luo Ning's strength. As he spoke, Shanks pulled out the griffin from his waist, and the others silently raised their weapons. This one in front of him is the one who suppressed the entire marine and Shichibukai by himself. Their red hair pirates don't have this strength, so now is not the time to single out. At this time, several avatars appeared around, and the space where the middle consciousness was located actually began to change, and the sky began to change. What was originally a relatively small space has become a huge battlefield. This is a special space I created. This space is big enough, and you don't need to worry about the attack going outside. Luo Ning said that this is a battle space imagined by United Fantasy. Unless he has the strength to directly kill Luo Ning or break the space, the battle fluctuations will not spread to the outside world. 
At this moment, a strange scene appeared. From the perspective of outsiders, the space inside began to elongate at this moment, and a huge space appeared in front of them, but this space was completely independent of their location. What an incredible ability. Seeing this scene, King Liku and the other side, this method is incredible, and they are like spectators on the viewing platform, they can clearly see the battle scene inside. Let's get started. Let me see how strong you are. Luo Ning doesn't use weapons. He usually relies on fantasy and fists. In terms of fists, he has been training in Impel Down for a period of time. Although he can't say that he can compare with these strong players who have been training for decades, they are not bad. Up. After all, his training ground is much more real than these people training outside. So even if he is not as good as these people now, he is not much worse. Seeing that Luo Ning was going to fight them with bare hands, Shanks naturally wouldn't question why the opponent didn't use weapons. He still knew some of Luo Ning's tricks. Boom. Just after Luo Ning finished speaking, Beckman fired a shot directly, and the bullet of the carrier armament hockey hit Luo Ning just like that. To be honest, Luo Ning thinks that Beckman is so powerful that he can make Kazaru raise his hands and surrender directly. It is obvious that this bullet is not an ordinary bullet. Even the Seastone bullets wouldn't be much use against Kazaru if he wasn't carrying armament hockey. Through the coverage of the armed color, the hardness of the bullet is strengthened, and the outer surface of the armed color is used as a driving force to accelerate the speed of the bullet to a level that is completely unattainable by a firearm. It is a good method. Luo Ning grabbed the bullet, which was indeed very powerful, using the armed force as the driving force, which was much stronger than the gun itself. With the armed color covering it, it is no wonder that even Kazaru dare not act rashly when pointed at by this gun, and can only get away when he has the opportunity. Can you catch it like this? It's really expected and very unexpected. As the think tank of the Red Hair Pirates, Beckman himself has analyzed Luo Ning's strength, so he naturally knows the power of his guns. He knew that his bullets would hardly hurt Luo Ning. After all, Luo Ning couldn't break his defense against Garp Sengoku and the two admirals, Siege, so naturally his bullets couldn't do it either. Advertisement. But seeing his bullet being pinched so easily by the opponent at first glance, it was somewhat unacceptable. It seems that long-range attacks are not very useful, so you can help me interfere with my sight. Shanks saw that Beckman's bullets had no effect at all, and knew that Beckman basically had little combat effectiveness. As for Usopp, although he was a scumbag. But this scumbag still has some strength, compare it with Usopp. Usopp's sniping method is not just a simple shot of a slingshot. Usopp's sniping method will use many kinds of special seeds, of course, this is also the later stage. Early Usopp didn't have these things at all, but Usopp is indeed a very good sniper. When sniping on the sugar, it is simply a show. As for Usopp, you can also play some slingshot moves with attributes. There is also Lajalu, don't look at this fat guy, it's a bit round, but in the world of pirates, the more this kind, the more you can't underestimate it. The fist attached to Reiatsu collided with Shank's knife, and the terrifying aftermath formed a shock wave that directly blew some of the average strength crew members of the Red Hair Pirates away. Aren't you going to use Conqueror's Winding? A strong man like you should be able to. But still can't compare with Reiatsu, Reiatsu is completely above Conqueror's Hockey, no matter what kind of Hockey's entanglement, it can't compare with Reiatsu's attachment at all. The battle between the two was on the verge of breaking out, but soon Shanks discovered a very sad thing, no matter how he slashed, he couldn't break through Luo Ning's defense. Shanks almost gave up, how can he play without breaking the defense? Horror Hockey poured out, and then slashed at Luo Ning with a knife, and Luo Ning also directly greeted him with a fist. This Conqueror's entanglement is indeed quite powerful. Whitebeard and Roger used to be one-shots. The griffin in his hands is one of his fighting methods, and also one of the strongest moves. Hawkeye can draw with Shanks in this aspect, so he naturally has four Emperor's level means. After all, Shanks is not a person with fruit ability. It is completely different from Golden Lion. Golden Lion loses fruit ability, and the strongest is swordsmanship. But later I found out that it was completely wrong, this Conqueror's Hockey can also be entangled, and after entangled with Conqueror's Hockey, the power becomes even more terrifying. Conqueror's Winding, I haven't used it for a long time. This fat man is also fighting with Shanks and choosing melee, and armament hockey has also reached a very good level. Quote dot dot dot. What a terrifying defense. This is why Luo Ning said that Hawkeye has the combat power of the four emperors level. As a little Roger, Shanks basically set the same route as Roger. Luo Ning said, when Conqueror's Hockey first appeared, I always thought that Conqueror's Hockey was actually a tasteless skill to clean up miscellaneous soldiers, and it was a skill that forced Jiao Nonuo Zhao. The power of the fist is great, as for Shanks, the griffin in his hand is his main means of attack. After Shanks finished speaking, his face straightened, and then the Conqueror's was released and wrapped around the blade. Chapter 115 Bomb Griffin Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription Close Black Lens Bracket Such a collision, although Beckman and others supported it, was very uncomfortable, and the combat power was suppressed under this impact. Luo Ning's Reiatsu and Shanks' Conqueror's Entanglement collided, and the power was stronger than two Conqueror's Entanglements collisions are terrifying. Since this place was created by Luo Ning, the impact of the two did not leave many traces on it. If it were placed in the outside world, the sky would have been cracked, and there should be a horrible pothole on the ground that would be smashed to pieces. It's really a terrifying power. At this moment, Shank's hand holding the knife is bleeding. In the collision just now, even though he used all his strength and used his armed force, he still couldn't completely block the force. 
Injured the hand. Nice power, but you should consider getting another knife. Luo Ning shook his head and withdrew his fist. Naturally, he didn't use all his strength, otherwise he could directly cripple Shanks with his current punch, but this time he didn't use his strength to escape the disaster. After Luo Ning's voice fell, the blade covering the conquerors was broken directly, and the red-haired blade was broken by Luo Ning's punch. Is it broken? I don't think it's very surprising. The corner of Shanks's mouth twitched. He feels distressed now. You must know that this knife has been with him for a long time, and now the 393 is broken in the end. Of course, he is not surprised, Luo Ning's strength is much greater than his own. Such famous knives are not easy to find. In fact, in Luo Ning's opinion, these weapons are just average. Including Hawkeye's black knife, in fact, it is just like that, if it is not relying on the holder's terrifying arm color, it will not be able to be intact at all. Hawkeye himself told Zoro that the blades are weak because of the strength of their wielders. Any knife can turn into a black knife in his hand, which is completely affected by the strength of the holder. Okay, we admit defeat, we are not your opponent. Originally, Shanks also planned to experience Luo Ning's strength by himself. Although Luo Ning showed it in the live broadcast, after all, he didn't do it himself, so he had the idea of giving it a try before. Give it a try. After all the members of Red Hair Pirates conceded, Luo Ning also gained a lot of free points. Although it was not as good as the previous one, it was still a four emperor's force, so the gains are still very good. After the opponent surrendered, Luo Ning dissipated the clone CBDA and the space was restored. At this moment, except for Shanks' severed hand that was still bleeding, nothing seemed to have happened. Since the winner has been decided, let's take our leave. Shanks picked up his broken knife, said hello, and left. He didn't dare to stay here anymore. Although strong people like them don't bother to lie, who knows what will happen. So it's better to go first, you know, there is a Kaido in the Four Emperors who completely disregards the dignity of the strong, no matter how despicable he is. As expected of Master Luo Ning, he defeated Hong Fashonk, one of the Four Emperors, so easily, and even broke the opponent's saber. King Liku said with some emotion, although they couldn't personally feel how powerful the attack was just now, they could see the aftermath very clearly. Whether it is Luo Ning or Shanks, they are all very powerful existences, and they are not comparable to existences like Brother Ming at all. Originally in the pirate world, the battle between the strong was very long, often lasting for several days and nights, but in Luo Ning's place, being able to hold on for a while is already very good. The fighting time was compressed to an extremely short time. In Luo Ning's view, in fact, only people with comparable strength will have the situation of playing for several days and nights in a row, and both parties need to know each other's situation very well. Advertisement. Otherwise, it will be uncomfortable for people to catch the opportunity with a killer trump card. The victory or defeat between equal powerhouses is often a crucial attack. Like Aokiji and Akainu, after fighting for such a long time, to put it bluntly, the families of both sides have been waiting for each other to show their weaknesses so that they can attack. Otherwise, it wouldn't take so long at all. Shanks is terrible in four emperors. Luo Ning shook his head. The strongest among the four emperors should be Kaido. As for Whitebeard, although he is the strongest in the world, if the current Whitebeard fights desperately, it will be a one-shot deal. His body is too weak, fighting against strong players of the same level, he is weaker by one point at a time. Now he has reached the stage of exhaustion, while Kaido has just climbed to the peak period. As the saying goes, fists are afraid of young people, so now Whitebeard is fighting Kaido. Once Kaido keeps fighting with him, Whitebeard will be directly consumed to death soon. In order to get here before Luo Ning left, Katakori asked his men to speed up as fast as possible. But what about the others? There are not many people who are not mad at the side of the ant, but Luo Ning is more optimistic about the two fruit abilities, one is the memory fruit and the other is the mirror fruit. Why are people from the four emperors faction coming one after another, first the red-haired ones, and now the big mom pirates? The other party was not the kind of brutal person, just like the people from Brother Ming's side, some with good personalities, it's not that Luo Ning never thought of recruiting them, but their loyalty to Brother Ming could not be shaken at all. The difference between them is that without Big Mom, Katakori dare not say kindness, but he will never take pleasure in killing. The time difference between before and after this is less than a day. As for Big Mom, Katakori and the others can also recruit, but Cracker's kind of madness is fine. As soon as the redhead left, Katakori came to Doris Rosa. In order to find materials for making cakes, the ant's sons can even destroy other countries directly. Shanks left, but Doris Rosa's matter was not over yet, because another person came after Shanks. Compared to that, the members of the Big Mom pirates are nothing good. Only one baby five can be recruited. There is no way. After all, the ant has issued an ultimatum, so he has to do it. Instead of procrastinating, it is better to come directly to the other party. Robin opened his mouth and said, and the others also nodded. After all, they all knew exactly how insane things these people under the ant had done. This kind of operation, to say that it is insane, is somewhat unworthy of their behavior. In the Charlotte family, there are not many people who can make Luo Ning look good, and there are only a few, and Katakori is one of them. Even Nami was a little depressed. What Katakori is very worried about now is that Luo Ning is targeting his brothers and sisters.